and playing the there we go we have everyone here for today so we'll see how it goes but speaking of everything that happened today and last week you guys took a took a whole base by storm it, it took three sessions but we fucking got there took over the um wheel watch outpost and done so um very quick recap here came into came into contact with someone you'd only heard of until recently finally been able to put face to a name he's met ye old fire eyes herself um you should board a dragon things were a bit sketchy uh a little bit of back and forward insults as she tried to recruit you you said no she was like okay well then can't have you as working for the good guys now can we um survived good for yous well done then watched as her and her big ass dragon started making their way towards calaman oh no thought everyone with some gray matter between their ears and party proceeded to run towards calaman as fast as they could on horseback got there on time um then went shopping after realizing the dragon took a wide berth however had been given a letter stating that Darit somebody help me with the fucking name here what's that prick's name again asshole we don't like him the the bacaris bacaris and his son Bacaris. both uh ended up leading a charge uh same direction that dragon went things were um things were not good there was a no bueno situation from that um so after a bit party decided you know we should probably follow up on that lead i know right followed up on that lead after some uh fighting with the robes mentor because some people didn't think about their actions actions of consequences <laughs> joking and you came to this place a battle as which with the calaman guard pinned down the bad guys all at the other end of the river got an actually from macaroon am i playing brin again tonight let's find out am i a kender today is off i'll try be in i don't know what that means but cool big thumbs up um I'll take that for what it is and assume that you may be joining us. Anyway, um, things happened, and as you were in the middle of this fight, um, apparently it's a war horse's turn. But to scratch mm. things off, uh, there was a fireball thrown. People were not a fan of that. There was a, uh, there were some arrows thrown. People were also not a fan of that. Um, long story short, a lot of things have happened and no one's been a fan of it. I feel we're all caught up. Anyway. The War Horse. Well. Move forward. To here. I'll watch someone leave and enter. As it does. It sees another horse. Realises that this is, you know, this is a horse of the same kind. You know, as it were, someone's bloodline's got to end here. And so the horse takes umbrage with Renard's horse. And didn't move 20 foot, correct me? Not move 25 foot, but does it do the thing? Um, oh, okay. Well, attack Renard's horse. Does nothing. Does nothing. Eight horse here will whine. Uh, not much else will happen. Alamon soldier, where you at, buddy? Yeah. He will start to make an attempt over. There's a few of them. The next one. Well, he'll also try and make an attempt. He's, he sees that things are getting a bit safer for him. The third Calman soldier, however, uh, he feels really safe here. There's an exodus, there's a Bryn, you know. He's feeling safe. Revel. 
Revel, do the thing you do, I, whatever that is, we don't know. <laughs> Pretend you didn't make that roll again, see what happens. One sec, one sec, one sec. Um, who we have on the... Bro, she weren't here for this. Fiend's dead. Yeah, you, you told me. I this... don't know how he died, though. This is new Fiend. He died I because he was stupid. Oh, he was rolling. Uh, yeah, oh, you did it. Yeah, I'll get you rolled in just now. Um, just run up with the... Uh, 12. That puts you... Uh, so, uh, that, that puts you in line to be coming up. <laughs> and they're just like, right there. Do I see... Oh, those are the, um... Okay, on the horses. Gotcha. Yeah. My horse. Not my horse. Okay. And the guy on top of the horse is bad guy. Gotcha. That's a bad guy. Okay. His name is uh, Jeff. We don't care about Jeff. That's why, that's why he's going to get what's coming to him. Jeff. Over here is Bruce. I shoot um magic missile at Jeff there. Oh no. Magic missile, everyone's one weakness. It's far off, man. It's Yep, gotcha. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is Jim's magic missile. This is different. Um, Bye Jeff. Wait, Bye, Jeff. Acquisitions Incorporated? What was that sorry? Acquisitions Incorporated? Yeah, it's in the spell list. It was there. Nice. Um, yeah. That straight fuck. Are you, you, you like you're firing all of them at this guy, yeah? Because um, I think I have to. He did. He's gonna watch as he body flies off into the water. You hear a subtle crack. Poor guy's spine. Probably not forgotten. Macaroons here. So RJ, don't worry. This initiative will take a while. There's a lot in it. And Junior at the bottom, so he can get in in time. Do anything else your turn there, uh, J. Yep, he's a, it says one creature of my choice. So, yep. Yep. He oh, did. that's, that's, uh, okay. Anything else then? Uh, I don't think I can do anything else. I, I, I know. Then. Move over to this Callum and Guardian. What do these guys actually have? Mm. Each dart targets a creature of your choice. You could have targeted three different creatures. How many darts? Do you oh, have? I, I took three. Yeah, I choose. I choose, it says a creature of your choice. Each dart targets a creature of dart. your choice. Oh, okay, okay. So technically, That's I can if a uh, Scottish would let me after the fact. It's already dead. It's already dead. It's already done. It's already done. Don't worry. We know this for the future. I thought it was just a standard magic missile. Um, I mean, even spun out on a split. That'd be like, what, 10 damage? Re Revivify? Revivify? <laughs> My friend, the clerics are in the south right now. Oh. Oh, dear. They are gluten-free darts, though. Oh yeah, and hypoallergenic as well. The last thing you want to do is die at your peanut allergy. Mm-hmm. Or shitting yeah. your glutens. <laughs> I've been really gassy after it's the lactose. Peanut oh shit. No one watches. Don't mention lactose, please. The one guard standing by X it kinda of runs over and up towards the guy dashing as he does. You hear it again. The all too familiar sound that you know he's half heard. Strikes fear into the heart of many. Not in its sun. As you watch as overhead, the sun is blotted out. And a body <laughs> lands. Oh. You know, it took me like three hours to set that up. Oh, that's awesome, though. <laughs> it was finding the sound effects. <laughs> 10 seconds. 3 hours. You get 10 seconds of time. That's... <laughs> Dedication. That's why you're the bomb. Stupidity. You take your pick. 
Don't worry, if it was any consolation, I contemplated throwing acid. <laughs> contemplated. Oh. That, that's not very friendly of you. Was that an actual dragon or a dragon elf? Who knows? Mm. Very high up, but took a bit. I will say, for your considerations, um, the big dragon you saw Consaldi flying off on, nowhere in sight. Gone. Uh, not here. She watches this Calaman soldier starts running down, tries to take some hides behind this rock. Bernard. Is this horse in front of me going to give me trouble, or since he lost his rider, is he going to... Can I just... Um, so I'm yet to roll on that, so... <laughs> I gotta get around him. You can get around your horse. I'd say you can get around your horse with that, with plenty of ease. Um, well, it does. I'll make your horse invisible right now, so hopefully then you can see the path you're taking. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Do I get my horse's movement? Uh, you dismounted the horse. Did I? Well, shit. It's, like it's only five no. foot of your movement to mount the horse, remember? Squire of Salomni and all that shit. Well, I get 25 feet too. No, you dismounted during the last round. This is round two, so you get 30 foot. You get 30 foot. Alright, I can still see that guy, so I'll get him. Oh. I'll attack the feller that's left. Alright, I'll let you find it. Crossbow. Here you are. <clears throat> yep. 22 for 3, I am 100% sure hits. Yeah, 22 for 3 does hit. Uh, I don't need a Calvin soldier, he really. Did I announce your turn there, okay? Mm -hmm. Nope, that's good. Guy. Okay. Rolling it down, your horse is its own independent creature. What would it do? Nope. Well, I can talk of it, right? Since it's a yeah, I'd say you can steed, steed. Yeah, you can tell it is. It's your own thing. I want to have it go up and uh, try to knock off the other horse. Can I get? That? Yeah, I've unlocked the horse anyway. So your horse goes by. You watch the other one. See the bat into the back of it. Twenty-three for twelve. I believe for the trampling charge, you've got to make an attack first. Uh, excuse me. Hits with its hooves. Now I am a... Right, so I'm going to take 12 off your horse first and foremost. It's 23. However, you're 16 for 12. That's consistent. <laughs> Hits. And then the hooves here. Um, we're about to see what happens if you knock a horse prone, guys. Or not. Not 20. He's gonna runs in, hooves it, tries to get it down, it kind of stands there, and even the rider is, he's reared this horse good, he knows what this horse is up about. Did I announce your turn, my guy? Oh, that's it. Yo, I got a Callum and Soldier somewhere, oh, it's this one. Hmm, well, having seen the dragon that just flew overhead, all the dragon now, the winged beast that he's heard so much about, he is going to absolutely shit himself with all care of reckless abandon. He's going <laughs> to run across the water. He's going to watch his waist high shield and longsword up, screaming, Dragon! Morales. Right. All right. How many attacks do I get again? Is it three or two? Three. I'll give you three because you weren't here last week and I didn't play your character because I was playing Bryn. So I'll give you the three. Uh, you arrived late to this <laughs> shit show. You heard a... <laughs> when you went, oh my goodness, a fireball. So yeah, I'll give you the three, my guy. Okay. And also any horses you kill, you can make glue out of if that's your wish. You said we could eat them? I mean, sure, if you're French. <laughs> I don't know if the Americans eat horse, alright? 
Uh, not, uh, not, not usually, no. Another French Very frowned upon. 23 for sex on the guard on the horse. You're going to fire that off. Not the guard, the soldier. Right through, he's going to watch as he flies back off the horse and splat on the ground. With two more attacks left on the field, Camporalis, clean things up. Ladies and gentlemen, let's find out. Where is it? Where is it? What are you looking for? I don't see anyone else. Two war horses, I think, is what he's accounting for. War horse, war horse. Oh. Horse sure. war. Sure. and kill a horse. Both, both on half cover. So, fire him with disadvantage. How do you say you do that? Is it Hold control. control. Is that it? And then when you, yeah, when you hit control and you click the thing, it'll fire twice. Lowest. 11 out of 13, both witness. You're going to fire that one off. Really hard. you got Renard's horse in the way as well. You don't want to hit that. I mean, God knows what he'll do to you. Suplex, probably. But, you know. <laughs> you have one more attack as well if you wish to take it. What are the odds of that? That one uh, also misses. You kind of fire that third one. Again, Renard's horse, I mean, it's a trusty horse, but it's, you know, it's winning and it's giving it all that. Did anyone else your time, my friend? Yeah. Yeah. Move it over to Exodus, the exotic one. Um, I can't believe I'm about to <laughs> kill a horse. <laughs> <laughs> but he would go to go kill a horse, I guess. He's like, the combat turn order won't be over until I kill this horse. <laughs> so it was five feet, another five feet, so ten feet. Um, he's going to try to do the, the, the black razor, the booming razor, even though he doesn't know. So how, how would that work? Uh, well, you already set it up, so you would just roll the one that says booming, because regardless, it's still going to do a normal attack roll, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's 24 hits. You're going to watch as he brings it in, slashes in. Damn, I thought I'd be enough. He's going to bring it in. You hear the whinnying of the horse. You watch as it goes to enshroud. And does you hear it's tutting. No. Did I announce your turn? This horse just talked to me? A judgmental cat, or, or... <laughs> tell me that the uh... horse watching me. <laughs> He's like, guys, I think this horse is a druid, and then he backs up. <laughs> guys, I've smoked something. <laughs> He's like, I am. Like, that horse horses, maybe a you druid. You know that bread we had earlier? <laughs> I think the gray spot on it was a bit more than ash. Then it was your turn, man. <laughs> yeah, no. He's like, I just invented penicillin. <laughs> Yeah, that's his time. Bren, you're up. All right, um, I'm not at my computer right now, but is there somebody to hit and kill? Uh, yeah, within 10 foot of you, there's that same horse that Exodus took a swing at. Okay, I'm going to go up to the horse, thank it for the service, and uh, hit it with a two-handed uh, blow. Not 20. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm going to give rid of a shape. <laughs> it's not hey, it's a we all have to do is thank it for its service first. The war horse. What? We've seen things. Just decapitates the horse clean right in there like something out the Godfather. <laughs> Whose head should oh, bed you putting this head in? Uh, you would not make it to the next area to kill the only other horse in this turn. Um, up to you what you want to do. You've only used 10 foot of movement, you've got an R20 left. Um, I want to start heading towards the area and then in my turn. Gonna step forward in the rocks. Melody. Oh, almost there. I am. No. Um, I know what you're thinking. See. I know what you're thinking. Don't. What am I thinking? You're thinking fireball. Don't. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm picking. So I'm picking something else. Why are you thinking? Um, would we, would we have cover for the ho for the war horse here? Um, or no, just you normal? can you can see the horse. There's no shadows over it. You're good. Okay, so I'm gonna do a fire bolt. Uh huh. Not a fire bolt. Uh, yeah. Hmm. 
uh, that unfortunately misses. You kind of burn yeah. that one off and maybe it's the water that diminishes it a little. It is a babbling brook of rushing stream water. I'm using words. <laughs> yeah. Did I know you I'm gonna go over here, like, hide behind the rock. Okay, okay. Then I will move it up top of the order. It's the war horse. What is uh, the armor class in these war horses? These mines are 11. More than 11. Okay. <laughs> well, obviously, more than 13. <laughs> So they're you, not haven't the same. you haven't taken the armor off any of the horses you're fighting. I'm just going to say that. Obviously. Like, it looks like Kanye asking and Kobe Bryant how many more records you can sell. More records. <laughs> how many more? More. More. <laughs> I'll be really nice, though. And if, your, now. if your horse dies, I'll let you make death saves with a horse. I know that seems really dumb. I don't think that horse would trust us. <laughs> Can I have a death saving throw for the horse, smoked. please? Oh no! <laughs> it had seven health and I rolled eight. The soldier, they kind of moved to here, and I'm going to say he's all here. Roughly about this time. The trampling and rushing of more hooves. It sounds like there's potentially another war party coming from off to the west. How many fucking Calaman soldiers did I put here again? Ah, it's okay, they're all there. They're good. Revel. <clears throat> Jay. Jalen. You're muted. Did not know I was muted. I'm sorry about that. Oh, you're always yeah. muted. Just assume you're muted until <laughs> you're proven otherwise. If I say your name more than three times, don't assume you're dreaming about a beautiful woman. Assume you're muted. Uh, <laughs> there's, a there's a horse over there. Can I run over here? Horsey. Horsey. Pretty horsey. It's just oh my God. three beautiful Scottish women off in the distance calling you. <laughs> you see the horsey. You see the dead horsey. You see the lying, riding in pain horsey. Um. Do you make glue, make burgers, or make a steed? I, uh, uh, did, he, did my steed hit zero hit points? Because it disappears when it does. Um, it did, but it's it's still there. Um, it's just got an unconscious tag on it. It's right there. I'm just saying it was a I fine so steed from the spell, so... Oh, it was fine it steed? Yeah. I thought, no, okay, if it's fine steed, then uh, we don't need saving throws for the horsey. The, the horse. Okay. So yeah, you can make burgers or make a steed. The horsey goes poof. He was poof. Now I gotta walk home. Oh man, now that, now that I've dance. had that in, in, in this way, I, I wanna I wanna play again. What was his name? Well, hadn't gotten to that point yet. He was so young. <laughs> How many actions is one minute? What was that, Jay? How many actions is one minute? Ten. Uh, ten. Okay. Cute. One round is six seconds, right? Yes. 19 for 19 is you. Often. The horse goes up in flames, screaming, whinnying, and neighing from all over. As you look around, you hear the sound of hooves. More screaming, more shouting. As you prepare yourself for what's yet to come <clears throat> from out on the tree line. A dozen or so mounted soldiers seem to be galloping, rushing south from the crossing. So they're coming down towards you. Callum and colours visible in every one of these soldiers. Armour dinged, clinged, bloodied, some burnt, some ripped to shreds. 
you can see there's very much been a larger battle that you are currently now retreating from. You just watch, it's very easy. You see him before you hear him, you see. Riding on a steed is Darit. And he's not wearing Callum and colours. In fact, Darit's wearing a nice new set of armour. Very distinct Salamnic plate armour. Mm. And you see, just for the briefest of moments, on the back of his horse, the harrowed face of Sir Bacaris the Elder. Washed white. As it does, you hear. Get on, quick! They're coming! As you watch, as there are a few empty horses with riders that have been dangling off the edge, dead. I'm eating one of them off and getting on. <laughs> Brendan, you're gonna grab one of the passing by horses, you're gonna pull yourself on without ripping your arm out the socket. Who else is following? Um, I'll follow as well. I need to do the same. Well, these guys should have all had horses. How we got here. Mine's the only one that died. Mm. Horses are back that way. You got horses coming for you. You want to try to outrun a horse or do you just want to grab a horse? Let's just grab a horse. It's easy. I'm going to grab the horse. Here. Welcome back. They're coming! Steadfast! As you hear once more the of the wings followed by this watch this black tar seems to come down almost bisecting the battlefield as you run further and further eventually the chase does stop you get to a safer camp if you will these all dismount. Some are taken into medical tents. Some are too far gone. And these all get off and sit. You stand there looking around. There is a bit of heavy loss amongst the ranks here. There is a sombre mood in this camp, which I do not have a map for. Let's see. Breaks, breaking immersion, I see. Of course, of course. <laughs> Let's activate the poster map. Ta-da! Or is it the continent map? Eh, six, two, threes and half a dozen. Yeah. Let's use... Stand in this... Camp walking around. Does anyone wish to do anything? This is a small military encampment akin to the one that you saw in Vogler a few months ago. Just considerably fucking smaller. I would probably go help the wounded as yeah, much as I'm I can. Good. I'm going to go uh, see if I can uh, offer some comfort for some people, uh, get people their, uh, you know, some warmth, some uh, some food, uh, some prayer if they need it. Yeah. We'll um, yeah. Exodus, um, are we, does this count as a short rest? Or we'll no. see. All right. Um, he would make sure that the horses and everything are all taken care of and ready to go should they need to leave in a hurry. Alright. That's what he'll do. I think someone else was about to say something. I'm just waiting. I'm gonna... Bernard's gonna go to the medical tent to see if anyone is in... Immediate need of healing, and uh, after that, we'll go to meet Derek and try to get a report of what happened. 
Man, I really should have let y'all play clerics. Oh, poor Fane's lying there. Poor Fane, who won't, who's currently dead. Let me change Fane out for Revel. Hi, Fane. <laughs> As he just all go around, the horses, some exhausted, some injured, but for the most part, they are enjoying this rest. You can hear off in the distance, though your encampment is quiet. There's nothing giving chase. As he is, most of you tend to the winded. Looking through the tent, there are some with grave wounds. Some who probably won't make it through the night. It's, it's, you should try your best to heal them up as best you can. Offer as much respite as you can, however you wish to do so. Gonna use cure light wounds on any that might uh, might help stave off the uh, boogie or the death. Um, You're about to see the boogie man. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm gonna say the boogie man. <laughs> nope, that's not right. The sand man, that's not right either. Mister Scottish, have I used? Uh, have I prepared my spells for the day? Uh, I don't actually think I touched your spells too much because your spells were like the type of spells that I would run. Yeah. Um, magic weapon, cure wound, searing smite. I think the only thing, I, yeah, I burnt like fifteen of your Leon hands, and that was it. And a cure wound. All right. Oh yeah, cure, uh, you can use some cure wounds on some people if you want. Um, two, if, if need be. I'm feeling generous. Are there any people that are blinded, deaf, and paralyzed, or poisoned? There are some who are definitely blinded, but we we are talking like. There is no eye in that socket blinded. Oh. We, we, we're, we're talking unfortunate arrows in unfortunate places. Mm. Um, as for the like name. They took an arrow to the eyes? Yeah, they were once a Callum and guard like you. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Yeah. Uh, the... It's such a it's such a memeable <laughs> sentence. I mean... Uh, like I, I even your... heard, I even heard in NCIS <laughs> being used in NCIS, see the TV show. Uh, if, if taking an arrow to the knee means you got met, you meet, you met a woman and got married. The hell kind of woman do you have to meet to have an arrow to the eye? A jealous one. <laughs> yeah, that's a horrible <laughs> joke. Um, is you gonna burn off the cure wounds in there? Firstly, you know there are a few people that do take note. As always, very strange power that, you know, you seem to hold, Bryn. And there are a few here who whisper not just rumours, but truths in regards to the origin of your power. As there have been circulating rumours of similar magics down south. Melano, um, for poison-wise, you, you know yourself, the Dragon Army, um... Poison isn't exactly their biggest thing, uh, apart from that mm. one that goes splotch. But uh, you noticed in most of that guarding fight, um, it was mainly all humans and horses. There was no real draconians there. It was rather yeah. odd and iffy one, really. It's usually wherever there's soldiers, there's draconians. So something's amiss, maybe. Who knows? Uh, <clears throat> See, uh, Revel, what were you doing again? You're just aiding the peoples as well? Yeah, I'm just helping everybody out the best I can. Yep. See, uh, give them the bandaging of wounds, maybe. Uh, you do things that are helpful, and people thank yeah. you kindly for you want it. A big, uh, <laughs> bacon you roll a ton of medicine checks, who knows? Um, I'm gonna guide the, like, like help the <laughs> guide the fuck out of those. Or... Or, or shape water, like make uh, cold band cold bandages or whatever. Cold compress. Like, cold compresses, if, it, if or or warm compresses, like. Uh, uh for as well. Uh, Baralis, who are you doing anything? Uh, I'd just be kind of like, kind of just wandering around, kind of keeping out of everybody's way, around the sidelines of the camp, keeping an eye out. Kind of keeping a patrol. Yeah. Uh, just for the fun of it, roll the perception check. Mm. Uh, 
Uh... Oh yeah, it's quiet. It's very quiet. This is almost prime hunting quiet. You could get away with a lot here. And that quiet as well, given your, you know, given your stalking ability and such. That makes you sound really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> given <laughs> given your hunter origins there we go um you know you're attuned to certain sounds cracking of branches the falling of leaves snapping of twigs and so on and so forth um surprisingly this area is void of all of that as if you are the only life here nothing seems to smell off and you can very, very faintly make out the sound of the river. It's that quiet. And that was not exactly a rushing torrent. Bernard, uh, you were also helping out, and how was one helping out? Oh, like I said, go to the tent uh, and uh, help with any healing that needs done for any major injuries. And then when I was done with that, we were going to meet with Derek and Baraka, Bakaris and find out what happened. Um, in terms of the what healing, how, in terms of the healing, how do you wish to help with that one? Is that a cure wound situation or is that a Leon hand situation? Uh, cure wounds. Yeah. Uh, just burn off the necessary spell slots by clicking the little thing. I'm not going to ask you to roll it. These are NPCs, you know. But I'll say in your guided help, the time you've been here, many people are certainly alleviated. It helped. You're better. Um, there is the, you know, once again, the rumours in regards to your power. As people seem to draw a connection that both you and Bryn were the same necklace. Of the same powers you can feel and the weirdest way that there is some form of cult-like fanaticism with yourselves and your god though no one dares ask but you can tell they look at you different than they do most others and i have no idea what you're concentrating on so i'm going to drop that concentration yeah, I, don't know. I would I don't also have... like to contact whoever is on the other end of the se of the sending thing, if everything is all right. I have a bad feeling. If everything is quiet here, that they might have gone somewhere else. Like if no one is following them as they were running, running away. You mean the four gap? Yeah. As you press on out into the four gap, listening for anything, you request an update. You know, I I will make the assumption that you say something like, you know, yo, wagwan, what's good. How's things running back in the caps? Mm. Like, tr trying to sound casual. And you play, you're just going to hear her back off. Mm. So you are well out of reach. Oh yeah, okay. That's right, because you did move, you were 30 miles, you went further, you could have been within range. Mm. Could be. Uh, yeah, Your but... burrito. As you were not going to the room, well, you need a little bit more to eat. With <clears throat> Dart, you watch as he stands there, makeshift tent, makeshift table, baby war room. You know, he sees he's looking down at this map, sitting on the other end of the room, is this disheveled, gaunt looking Lord of the car. It's the colour wiped from his face. It takes a moment of looking as it almost seems like he's not breathing. Unfortunately, oh. he is. He is. 
<laughs> so close. It's here. Somebody puts a mirror to his face, and when they see the fog, they just throw it against the wall. <laughs> oh, I have, I have a mirror. <laughs> it's a faint remnant. <laughs> yeah, it's you. Give him my covers. Dark kind of looks at you. What you happened? He points at the cars. Just points. And then the way he does it, you, you can read the all manner of emotion from this. As he looks. Led the assault on the forces. Unaware that the reinforcements were closer than he thought. We were swung immediately. They came from multiple angles. We tried to withdraw. You've seen how that went. Were they, were they in the trees? They were everywhere in the trees behind rocks they were dug in like they expected us like like it was a trap we tried to retreat and points once more as he rather fainted point he we was Overrun. And, well, there's only one Bakaris now. He's gonna look. There is, like, a tear starting in Lord Bakaris' eye. It's not full on weeping or crying, but it's, it's there, and all it will take to break that tension is him blinking but he is in a state of shock he is one step away from an explosion in one way or another you know this man you know he's a dick but does he have a heart who knows hmm. so in his ineptitude he organized a hastily and unthought out attack on the superior forces without proper preparation and he paid for it with his son's life, is that what you're saying? Yes. Well the perhaps he'll learn better and leave the fighting to actual trained warriors. Damn. He watches Dark. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that chat, man. He watches Dark and looks up. He's gonna just. Gives you that look of. I want to believe you. But I know this man. That. You know, we can only hope. And he looks. Ah. Uh, we don't seem to be being, to be being pursued. But the marshal's forces are headed back to Calaman from the west, one would assume. Um. They. They've taken advantage of the situation. The room was a mess in riot. There was no room for anything. He managed to persuade everyone due to the chaos. Calaman is undefended. There's the city guard, but... The army is spread thin here and out west. We... We 
we may just have sealed our oh uh, he may just have sealed our own doom this is lesson out and look around regardless of what's been said the car says each stone unflinching unmoving unseeing but in your time in the camp you can see that the attitude from what's happened has swung no one sees Bakaris as the leader everyone sees Darrett as the leader even though he didn't organize any of this I would suggest <clears throat> I we rest here and send scouts out for any stragglers try to gather as many back together as we can that survived and then make haste back to Kalaman as soon as possible first light if, if not sooner that is your choice um, we are here to see who will make it through the night you can try head back if you wish you'd maybe get there by morning but i can't say um there is room for you if you'd wish any additional help would be greatly appreciated at this moment but that's your call In what other way you, whatever way you need, Derek. <laughs> I leave it in your hands. You have seen ultimately more combat than me. More. You are best to lead here. Um, these are the special forces. There are tents. Take them if you wish. The horses will be well seen too. We will head back in the morning regardless. All right. Then let's get volunteers to go out and look for stragglers. Report back any any new sightings. And then we'll leave first thing in the morning. We'll get we'll get rested. Do what we can for, for the for the wounded and head back in first thing. First light. the camp seems to draw out there's not much light at the camp for obvious reasons but there is enough wartime cots if you will for everyone to enjoy a I'm, I'm, I'm going to say decent night's sleep, but like if you've ever slept on one of those things, it's not exactly a decent night's sleep. It's sleep in big air quotes. <laughs> it's military sleep. Sleep on the ground might be better. I, don't know, I had one of those little beds for a week. It was the worst sleep of my life. I remember they have a sleep on those in kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, but you're, you're a kid at that point. You don't care about comfort, you care about sleep. What type yeah, of what no. type bed was it? It's like those little military caught ones. It's essentially like, you know, four bits of wood and like some fabric. But by all accounts, if you oh. hung it up, it'd be a hammock. It's got a cheek Our to call word. itself a bed. The ones, yeah, we had were, like, the ones we had were plastic frames with essentially, you know, the kind of netting they used to like bunch oranges together? Yeah. Oh, That's the best. <clears throat> Yeah. But you know, after my ABCs and recess, I was I was tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> These are all mulling around the camp. What is everyone doing? Uh, Please not all at once. The Sorry. That's <laughs> right, you first. <laughs> you were going. Yeah, I would probably stay in the healing tents as late as I 
could possibly the leg was too ti way too tired helping uh, oh no, that's not it. Uh, I have chicken scratch for handwriting but sure well, helping the ill the infirm Bernard then anything else in particular I'll uh, just uh Talk some more with Derek. Try to help or, or help organize the uh, the march back to Kalaman, and after they've gotten as many stragglers as they can, yep. And uh, after that, try to catch some sleep. Tell them we're going to leave. We're going to go ahead first thing in the morning, and they can follow behind with the main with the uh, balance of the army. All right, and then just to avoid any potential confusion, we'll then jump over to Bren. Uh, <clears throat> I'm I'm going to uh, be continuing to check in on people up until the uh, time, up until the last moment where I can still get a full rest. <laughs> rest in your quotes. All right. Oh, did you hear me? Yep, yep, I heard you. Uh, taking it yep. until you can't no longer. Good. Yep, and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna reset. Hard reset. Alright, I'd, I'd call that a soft reset. I'd say a hard reset, something else, but sure. <laughs> what do you call a hard reset? Not waking up in the morning. <laughs> oh, the Buddhists well, would we'll, call we'll, that reincarnation. We'll see. We'll see which one it is. Uh, let's see. Uh, Boralus. Uh, what's the terrain uh, like around the camp? Forest. Mainly yeah. forest and grassland area. But like, like the woods. I'd probably just camp out next to a tree. It's kind of outside of the camp, but still near the camp. Kill, kill. And I got numbers here. Uh, bum, ba, ba, da, 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 da. Jalen. Me? No, the other Jalen. Oh, okay. What are you doing, my guy? Um, this counts as a long rest, correct? How long? How long are we taking here? <clears throat> um, I'm gonna say. Um, right now it's about 6 p.m. So waking up as early as 6 a.m. is technically a long rest. Depends, you know, you, you need to get eight hours for a long rest. So depends how late you're looking to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just. Um... Uh, Eladron elves just can can do also can also do trance. So not, we'll just get not an Eladron four hours. Yeah, I'm okay. just helping out. Helping out as much as I can before I go ahead and retreat. Oh yeah, you and don't want to you. In the morning, I'll go ahead and uh, repair spells. Yep. Let's see. Uh, 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 Exodus. Uh, look at the names here, and I'm like, who am I missing? I was hoping to get to you last. I know, right? Last but not least. Tepler. Exodus. Boy! You there, my guy? Hello? 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 You're muted if you're trying to talk. We've been trying to contact you in regards to your car's extended warranty. <laughs> I feel like that's been a scam call that was going around America. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like 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 that's one of the like lower tier ones. I, I don't know how to do it, but like uh, they essentially they're, they're getting creative, but not creative enough. There we go. He's here. So um, we just want to know about your Ford Challenger Raptor. I what? Everyone's done Good. all their doing their long resty stuff. What are you doing? 
Oh, I am uh, going to take a long rest. That's just everyone. Yep. Did anyone else not long rest time? I will be concentrating on Razor. Bum, bum, bum. I will be calling. I was trying, almost trying to tell you not to concentrate too hard. You told me to remind you when the long no, rest. No, no, not as. You're so dumb. You, you spent three nights in a store staring at a bottle of orange just because it said concentrate. Oh, what that do you want the, me to do, man? That, I just no, got back. I just got don't back. Worry. He's messing with the horses, man. No, I, I don't worry. I got his. Use R all. Doing your own little so thing. You take your time. You okay. Your time. What, what yeah. did I miss? I guess you were grouped with the party yeah. and asked. Yeah, that's all I was doing. Anything beforehand, like you know, are you? Out in the woods, are you sitting in a tent? Are you right. shivering he, in the lake? He would, because he was um, talking. Uh, he was not talking, but taking care of the horses. He doesn't really know what the plan is. So eventually he would approach Renard and say, Hey, what's, what's going on? We're going to help with, uh, help here at the camp tonight with the wounded. We're going to try. We're, I'm having a scouting party sent out looking for any stragglers. Make sure we're not being pursued. First light, we're going to get up. We're going to go ahead of the the force here, back to Calaman, and report. Uh, Derek's going to take command of this army and uh, follow. Mm. So, so, anything you can do to help, help. Um, otherwise, get some rest. Be ready for yeah. Tomorrow. I'm going to get some rest for tomorrow. I've been taking care of the horses to have them prepared, so they'll be ready for tomorrow. Um, Excellent. We'll we'll say though. That I think this is why you're the te- this is why you're the team leader, Renard. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Hundred percent. You're the team leader. Kind of, sort of. No one has said it really, but I feel like we respect you the most mutually. Well, thanks. The only one I respect is the man up above. No, I'm just kidding. You. <laughs> Sorry, Scott. <laughs> that's fine. All right, that's the plan. All right. And then he would nod, and he would go to his own tent. Or not his own tent, but probably like a barrack of tents. And would rest up. All right, cool. As you <clears throat> are resting up, you lie there. As you do, you hear the once more distinct tutting of, not right now, phone, the distinct tutting of a voice from nowhere in your head for now. May I ask? Because you're going to get sucked in to darkness. There is just the sound of this ever-present booming voice. <sighs> Are you? I, he looks up, eyes trying to open, but still seeing only darkness. He knows vaguely what's happening, vaguely. Having had an occasion or two with his own patron. Or is this the, is this like the meeting he had with before with his patron, or is this something else entirely? Is what, sorry? Is this akin to his patron? I, I or is this something that. else? Uh, I can. He, he, he's, is, this is a familiar the voice, uh, stance. The voice is unfamiliar, but the right. setting seems way too. Right. You know, he says, I am... I go by Exodus. Mm. Wow. That's a different name. And you wish to use my powers, or do you wish to use 
their power. Or would you like both? I want all the power I can get. I'm number three. And why are you worthy of I could say that I have morally just reasons. I could tell you of how uh, I am on the front lines of fighting the enemy trying to take over the world. But I don't think that interests you. I felt your... Uh, your presence. Stumpy while I was away. Yeah, she she came up, so she was fine. The new name, Stumpy. Come on, dumb dog. She just had zoomies, and I'm like, no. <laughs> it's okay. Your mum phoned me. Yeah. I did text you. Yeah, I'm in the middle of something, so like you know. Yeah. So I phoned her while I was driving in the back. Yeah. She was just looking for an update. No. Alright, well, Meg, don't cost us any more fucking vet bills in the next month. That'll be great and grand. I'll be right back. Apparently, part of the policy to keep our vaccinations updated. Oh, that's cool. No, I have to. You'll have to get oh. like, her jags updated. I know you said that she, if I could read, she wouldn't, but the insurance is null and void. I don't want to vaccinate my dog. She might get the tizzles. Fucking already has it. <laughs> Well, on you go, Meg. Yeah. Um, I've got your car in your name. Yeah, please. Thank you. Sorry, no, updating the dog. She was taken to the vet last night after she started bleeding profusely from the foot. Aww. Oh, no. I'm glad you Yeah, she pulled her claw out running up the stairs. It's hilarious. Greyhound oh. does itself an injury while oh, running. Oh, no. <laughs> but yeah, Poor like, Gogo. Oh. Playing it all for the same <laughs> thing until the missus leaves, and then she's like, Oh my god, I'm perfectly fine now. Ethel. <laughs> uh, I was just to say, I've felt your presence when I've held the blade. It is not a, a good presence. What I can tell you, though, is that I'm in a position to take many lives. Wow. If. You can take just one single life a day. I will be satisfied. But if you wish for my true potential, take me to the grey once more. Uh, oh, see, sorry, did he say take me to the grave once more? The Grey, G-R-E-Y, or E-Y, uh, color. Ah, the color, right, right, uh, is that, uh, do I know what that is? You are very familiar with the Grey. Gandalf is from there, I presume, <laughs> what? <laughs> What, what is the gray, the gray? The gray is the shadow, uh, the Dragonlance version of the shadow film. Ah, right. It's just what it's right. called. Apparently, is the gray, which technically makes sense. Yeah, he would uh, say, "I will try to find a way there." It's to the north. There's no. But if after three days I am not satiated, then you and I will have problems. Uh, 
so I have I can have a day in between. I have I can have a day off. That's that's good because I'm traveling a lot, and uh, you know sometimes I'm not you know able to stop and you know kill somebody every day. But uh, I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll do my best. Yes. You hear the voice seems to taper off. Is it tapers off? You hear another more background voice. <laughs> I don't trust that one personally. But it would be nice to have a taste of home. It seems all of our goals align then. We all get together like one big old demonic question mark, eldritch question mark, otherworldly question mark family. <laughs> that one on a very short leash for your sake not so much mine he will get a bit more serious now um, his nervousness had been causing him to make jokes but he would almost lean in Metaphorically, because he doesn't know if he has a body right now. And he'd say, Thank you. I don't trust it either, but if I am going to do our plan or my plan, I need all the strength I can get. As you seem to drift off. For everyone's before, we'll just keep those long rests coming in now, guys. As you rise, let's use the good old flashbang method of it's now 6 p.m. Oh my eyes! Does it work? The weirdest thing for yourself is you awake <coughs> there, Exodus. The air is heavy with the smell of chrysanthemums of all things you're not in an area filled with flowers there's just grass around for the most part it's, it's chrysanthemums that's an odd smell to be smelling here why do i know that name why do I know chrysanthemums? He thinks about it. He's like, didn't chrysanthemums, chrysanthemums. And then he's like, wait a second, didn't I? And he goes to, uh, he wakes up uh, and goes to, to search for said smell. For some reason, chrysanthemums is ringing a bell. Like he was supposed to get something with chrysanthemums. He doesn't remember what, though. Everyone else, Sprawls, you're time in the forest. It's a good night's sleep. You don't hear anything coming through at night. You are able to pass off soundly but alertly enough. Nothing seems to come. You are in the world's safest spot. As he's all awake, everyone bit by bit. The camp is buzzing and fast as people are trying to pick things up, store tents, and get everyone ready. What's everyone else doing at this moment in time? Trying to break the fast with something. Oh, <laughs> that took me a moment. 
Yeah, I'll checking. be helping in the at the campfire, right making breakfast as well. Okay. Then <clears throat> I'll give it an hour of packing and eating before, if I recall correctly. You said, correct me if I'm wrong, you said that you would be heading off in front of the pack. Yes, no, John? Yes. Yes. Yeah. And we'll save for it. it. See how many stragglers they found overnight. <laughs> Tell them we'll see them back in Calumet. Yep. Yeah. It gives you an idea that the only thing found were bodies mutilated and partly dissolved. As you <laughs> head on back to make the somewhat th uh, let's what's my hexes there we go uh, well that's like horse wise I would say eight hours on horseback taking a good stride you'd be there by about maybe 2 p.m correct if I'm wrong maybe lunch let's call it call it 1 p.m because that is a Good time. These arrive. Heading towards Calaman. You near the gates. The raid here has been quiet for the most part. It's weird given the dragon army were coming this way. You didn't bump into them. You didn't see them. Things are odd. And she's come to past where you had camped with fog guards. You see a crowd gathered. As you get closer and closer to the walls of Calamon, the crowd is gathered more so. It's large. You hear murmurings, which soon turn to crowded noises. As it does, you notice the main gates of Calamon are closed. An odd sight this early in the morning. This early in the afternoon, rather. As you see, there's a man in a portico. Porticullus. He's kind of looking around, screaming, There's nothing to see here! Nothing, go, nothing to see, cities off limits, nothing to see, go away. You see another one, move along, come on, move, move it, everyone, come on, you're blocking the path, fuck off. <laughs> you watch as these are coming in, the crowd does seem to please you on horseback, so you know, the crowd kind of seems to part, as it does. No, these are now part center of this crowd. Um, what do you wish to do for a moment? Was I quickly jump to the toilet and change headset? Uh, um, go on. No, no. I I don't know. Why the gates I'm are closed? Yeah, these are technically by the gate right now. It's like yeah, try to get in. Find out why the gates are closed. Uh, I would, one, was I able to find Chrysanthians? Um, you were unable to find Chrysanthians in your time. Um, it was odd. You were in basically, a, I think, like a field more than anything, mm -hmm. but there was, there was nothing around but trees. All right, so it was, it was more the sensation and smell than actually any flowers nearby. Second thing, I would like to make a history check, right? Because I'm getting the hint that there might be tunnels around the city and underneath the city, right? Because there was um, that, that, that dragon in the tower where Fane was. He got in and out mysteriously. We're not seeing the soldiers. Uh, maybe they're underground tunnels across the land or mines if i could make it like a history check to see if i could recall any such things um yeah you spent some time in the city 
go ahead and roll a history check on that one to see what you can recall. An 18? You do recall that by the harbour area, there was uh, what seemed to be gratings and such, like sewer gratings more than anything, but for like, you know, runoff for the heavy rain. However, in getting to this, getting to that area in and of itself would be rather difficult, as that would also require getting through the gates. Alright, uh, he had mentioned this, like, mumbling to himself to the party, but not really bringing attention to it, but yeah, you guys will continue. Could I, as I dry my hands, <laughs> could I ask everyone to make for me a standard charisma check? Gotcha. Do you need me to hit my own Scottish or do I need to uh, bust the move over to this computer? That's alright, I'll get it. It's coming back. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> <That's sick. laughs> Oh. It's fucking painful. Mm. What happened? Do not fucking it's painful. Nothing happened. It's fine. Oh, she's a charisma caster, guys. That's her best. Yeah. I, I, it's oh. plus five. Oh, I don't. Long rest, Bren. Give me a little second. Long rest, Bren. Uh, I like your spells the way they are right now. Um, however, I'll do that thing that I do where if you, you know, if you want to do them and I've had to use a spell, you can change every other spell by that one. Nine. Bryn. Kill. So, in the mulling and milling around in the crowd as you try to pass, you know, your casual murmurings and conversations with each other on it, you pick up the following. About an hour ago, a retune of ne of re retinue retinue fucking a regime we'll use that word of knights of Salamnia entered the city and headed for Castle Calaman. <laughs> you are aware, Renard, innately aware that you are not a popular bunch in Calaman. Like as much as the city would love to be able to pay for you, um, you know, kind of caused the cataclysm 300 years ago, and it turns out people in Ancelon hold a grudge. Who knew? <laughs> who knew? The knight, however, who came to the gate, proclaimed his name, Caradoc. He was a nice and charming man, Everyone felt safe around him and somewhat happy. He entered with at least a dozen heavily armoured knights. Uh oh. And it was almost like something out of a story. Rather odd that, you know, you yourself, well, you know, they have not made any pleas to the knights of Kalama, the knights of Salamnia, because the city just cannot afford. You are the, you and Dara are the only knights in this city. I recognize that name. Give me a history check. Oh, great. Intelligence rolls. Oh, I forgot that. <laughs> I, I genuinely forgot that. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a name that does seem familiar. It's an old name, for certain. You can't quite click as to why. You... You've heard about him, though, for certain. That's by no means, like, his name does float around the circles. And salam salamnic circles. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, he's just gonna head up on just a little more. He's are now, by this point, and at the gates as the guard is kind of looking. Go away, there's nothing to see here. We've just locked down important business. 
please, by all accounts, just go back to your homes. I approach him and ask him why the gates have been locked. The knights are here. And so, important delegation, you close the gates at their request. Why would we I think our important business, and you pull up the badge. <laughs> I have, to, I have to see the, the, the governor. The governor. <laughs> Got to see the governor. <sighs> I have important, important news from the, the army that went out to attack the red dragon army. He watches. He kind of looks, looks around, looks at one guard and kind of nods, and he watches. So a small contingent of guards seem to. Press in around you and start kind of moving forward, if you will, to separate you from the crowd. All right, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> he watches again, raises his hand, and the gates come up just enough. Easy. When you go. Ah, up by the castle. You know where you're going. Yeah, we'll make haste to the castle. As you watch as the crowd starts to surge and the guards are kind of like their shields out pushing back as you can hear them screaming that, you know, you fucking nobody's getting. <laughs> this is, um, yeah. I was going to say, on the way there, we all heard this Knights of Salamnia thing, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you all going to gather that uh, as a charisma check. Now uh, gonna... uh, you look to Renard and say, what are the chances that's one of those... Uh, Dragon thingies that can disguise themselves. Uh, That's what I was know. thinking as well. I Should... recognize the name that was given, but is it the person I... that's alive or dead? So I, I, I can't quite remember. It if wouldn't it's be a name. name. It's not mm-hmm. someone in my direct chain of command or anyone that I know. So. I wouldn't it wouldn't be anybody sh- that I would have heard of Scottish being in, um, yeah. Um, no. Uh, you being a Calaman knight, um, you've only really heard of the Knights of Salamni and such as, you know, the guys that cut down the cataclysm, the naughty, naughty boys, and, um, the people you're also apparently too poor to hire, even though you're a massive trading port. Mm. Yeah. Huh? Just... Would we use the far gap to check just in case? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what do you wish to say? Just if every f- we're in the city, is everything all right? It just hesses out. But she was in the city, right? With it. Yep. He's wearing, say, by, by all accounts, you're maybe about. What's. Uh, I want to say like a kilometer. You're not even a kilometer. You're like maybe. 600 foot? So it should be in range, right? It's in range. So you, put, you can ascertain you've had no reply. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not getting a reply, guys. Yeah, they're. Probably either one talking with the Knights of Salamnia, or two getting their shit They're kicked dead. in by like Knights of Salamnia. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the two. I mean, we're walking and talking. He's like, "Let's, yeah, I'm gonna start running." <laughs> I'll be there. In a <laughs> yeah, we're just running. <laughs> All right. As you are, some of you is everyone running, or just some of you is running? Well, we're in a hurry. Yep, alright. Then, as you sprint on through and down, sprinting up this huge pass, by the way, to the top of Castle Calaman, to the courtyard, you see that. There is no one, really. Nobody. Okay, so yeah. 
So I will drop your tokens in just now, guys. Bim, 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 bim. Airdrop. <laughs> Enemy AC-130 inbound. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and now it's gonna. Uh, yeah, I've, I've noticed it. How how long were you not on the con? How many long were you just staring at a fucking black screen? Oh no, I was oh, on the, the map. Because it looks like I'm waiting on Renard, so I'll try to pull you the scene. Like these are these are all going to a scene that were like you don't even have characters. Uh, who's missing? Uh, I don't see fit either. Pull RJ, pull Tupper. I see everybody. Just waiting on. Still loading in. Through. There we go. I don't know why I had to You're manually in. pull you all in, but there. Uh, RJ, are you with us? I'm, I'm here. Cool, cool. Just so I know. So, as you come to the gates, usually guarded. Not this time. The gates left open. You don't hear anything. That's the wrong fucking music. That'll work. You don't hear anything. There's no sound. There's no people. There's nothing. Let's try this. I think we should be careful as we go in. I guess we can let ourselves in. You guys are very strange if it's not guarded. We're yeah. just gonna step our way in. Just... Ah. Ah. You start. I could. Yeah. I was just gonna say, I could try to go in first. I could disguise myself as what a Knight of Salamnia would appear like. A person? <laughs> they have, they, have <laughs> armor, right? they don't have like like I, I don't know. I imagine the Knights of Salami has like these people with like white armor and like insignias and stuff. No, I don't know. No, 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 you're you, thinking of it all wrong. You mean Renard? We have to be a potted plant. They're big old no. potted plants in the palace. <laughs> ah, hearing, hearing like Papa's had a plant on the inside. I see. Hearing Exodus say say this. Revel's going to point towards the Knight of Salamnia that we have in our group. <laughs> yeah, but isn't he like, I don't know, like, just, I'm not sure, I don't really know how the knights work. I, I kind of assume he was like, if he was, you know, that Knight of Salamnia, he wouldn't be hanging out with us, he'd be off causing a cataclysm. But like, I mean, we, we still know. have one that, like, has the color, like, the, the whole get up, and... Yeah. They're gonna be like, "Oh, you have the insignia, but we don't know you." Yeah, I know, but I thought we figured out that this wasn't actually the Knights of Salamnia. Yeah, know. he just walking at this point, given that people are already walking. He's like, "I don't care at this point." <laughs> he's like, "Whatever." <laughs> just when you say he's in the game, I'm just imagining him, like you know, like fucking sideways baseball cap and a huge chain that just says like a big S for Salamnia. <laughs> you stand in there like, come Imagine, on. No, no. It's more like the flavor flav chain. Flavor <laughs> uh, uh, flav. Um, we have too much fun. Is there any? Is there any Hello? noise in here that I'm hearing? Uh, Hello? there is no noise that you are hearing. Uh, really quickly. Yes. Um, da -da 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 Revel, Exodus, and Boralus. I'm gonna rate that as well. You just get an additional five HP oh, to I your max. Been. Okay. I see this um this ballista just chilling here. Oh uh, my lads. I'm the lab the doctor had previously ordered. Yeah, that's um so, and there's your walk. Um, I had those done, but a those site had you've been seen about before. A month or... You you know, there's usually people in there manning the ballista. That's... You're in the choke point where if the place were to be assaulted, people would not be getting out of. Um... Okay. There's no guards in these slots. Mm. Oh, yeah. Even more suspicious. Hmm. Wouldn't they all have gone out to fight? No, they... they there would still be people here to protect the, um... Sorry, I'm back. The place. 
<clears throat> not exactly. You want to suck me dry. Huh. We're just gonna walk into a. As you uh, round the round this corner, seeing into the courtyard, it is largely deserted. The main forces seem to be elsewhere. Near the covered cloisters leading to the inner sanctum of the castle. You see two heavily armoured knights of Salamnia on horseback, heads down, holding banners. I have an image. Oh god, images. A fatal weakness. I hope everyone sees that. Yes, no? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Turning on my computer one more time. I can see it. That don't look like a friendly image. I'm back. Is that a ghost? That's the Knight of Salam. Sure looks like fun. It's Is Danny Phantom. Here? Gotta catch him all, because he's Danny Phantom. <laughs> she's shouting stuff, and I don't know what she's saying, because we're singing Danny Phantom. We're adults. What was that? We were all singing Danny Phantom. Oh yeah. Um, is my is my screen inside supposed to be black? Is your what supposed to be black, Matt? Oh, okay. Brynn's not inside. That's why. Let me walk okay. on in. Let me just make this a curry that will send you back in. to the vet. This is a nice hallway. That is a that's a very large crossbow. Um, going forward. Brynn's running commentary and everything she's seen before. <laughs> hmm, that's big. That's some nice stones. That's a nice boulder. Hmm, I love this flagstone. My favorite flagstone to step on in this castle. It's not loose like the rest of them. <laughs> it's the one solid flagstone. I make an investigation check to see if they are like transformed or disguised or something or whatever need check I need to make. Investigation would require you being closer to take a thorough look. Um you can certainly run a perception uh. check to see what you perceive on it. Okay. Mm. They're very still. That being said Nope, they're they're okay. that being said, though they're very still, they're knights. They're trained that way. If they're told to stand there for 24 hours, they'll stand there for 24 hours. The Knights of Salamnia have a reputation to uphold and a reputation to try and fix. I approach them. I am following. You approach. You watch as you get to the door and the large pikes seem to come down. To oh. stop you coming any further. I say hail, brothers. I am Renard, Knight of the Sword. I have business inside with the governor. Who is it that you are here with? They do not speak. And they do not move. They acknowledge your presence. And that is it. They're aware you are there. But that's about as much acknowledgement as you're getting. Mm. Mm. Now that you're there, however, I was actually just going to ask you. Um, yeah. They are knights of Salamnia. Their armor is different to Darrett's and that his was knight of the sword I believe is the first one correct me if I'm wrong sword crown first. rose yeah crown sword rose crown. his was crown armor yours is sword theirs is rose oh now I got a 16 1d4 for 
1d4 because as Sentinel's intuition. D4 added to insight or perception. Let me just check. Uh, where is that? Sentinel's in position. I one. believe that's with uh hey, it's a it's human my human variant thing. Human. Mark Keep... of the Sentinel. Oh Mark of the Sentinel. Uh Mark of the Sentinel spells it. I ain't even seen that. Well, so I don't doubt it's a thing you have. I don't see it anywhere. Could you link it in chat for me, please? I will do that. If I can. Even if you link the full thing and or even like screenshot it. Yeah, the more time you waste, the more curry I eat. <laughs> Sentinels into it. Fuck that. When you're making a um, can add a default. Yeah, yeah. Um, you also notice that um, it's covered in spots of ash and rust, as if this armor is old. That's really strange. I don't know any knight that would let his armor fall to such unless levels they, of disrepair. Unless they were, unless they were buried with it. We're uh, we are a part of a special task force hired by the governor, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do we have any badges or such that says that we're that? I'll do you one better. We do, don't we? I'll tell you one better. Um. <clears throat> so. I use my divine sense. Yep. Roll an issue. Oh. Well, they smell like evil. They smell like evil. Beat. Beat. Oh. You know, they call me uh, Bren the Horse Killer around these parts. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Oh, I forgot to add my bonus to my initiative. Frick. It's only a plus two, though. So it don't matter. We'll see. Once these guys roll in, it could be different for you, Matt. So. Now that, oh. now that y'all are rolling. Bar Revel, if Revel wants to do her quick roll in. Or his quick roll in. I don't know. Oh. Um, so, first and foremost, I love you all dearly. Secondly, uh, Exodus, yeah, you, you still remain the same, unfortunately, my friend. On the up hand, um, for yous, everyone else goes first, which is great for yous, um, horrible for the rest of the encounter. Up first in this, Baralis, and says, Jason, so far back, have they seen me? Mm, it's broad daylight. So they they would see you. You're not hanging in any major shadows or such. You're in an illuminated area. All right. Okay. It says for this, just for the narrative perspective of it, as Renard, you let off your sense, feeling something is weird. Immediately, four pings, and as you you know scream, you know, yo, these guys evil. Everyone takes immediately draw my sword. <laughs> Not today, Dad. Bad guys. <laughs> Baralis. All right, give me a sec. I got to do my quick. Oh, okay. All right. And these guys also have some great shit. Um, cool. As so you can fire that off <clears throat> at the. You know, watches it dings the armor and does hit. You watch the arm kind of flies back, but the head still remains down. I get two, right? Three. Oh, I thought it was three. only three for the first attack. This three for first your attack. first first round. For okay, your two. first attack and your first yeah. round of combat. So three now, right. two any other time. 
Yeah, if you have any questions about the Gloomstalker, you can ask me. I, ha I have some experience playing it. Any, any question about Rangers? There's the Renard. Yeah. <laughs> you got one more attack, my friend? Mm. Would you go? Fire this one off. Second one. Misses, hits the ground, hits the wall. Psst. Did I announce your time? Uh. Yes. What am I doing? Uh, mark it as favoured fall. Cool, cool, cool. Um, oh. Yeah, animal, I'll write that down. Browns, fave. I'm going to say right now, you should, I hope to God you never see my notes. They are atrocious. <laughs> Did I else your turn, my guy? No, that's it. Cool. Revel. Revel. <coughs> You're muted. Um, I'm gonna do... Why not? Let's try Magic Missile again. Which one? Um, I have it. I have them targeted. The one to the side. Uh, right. I believe it is. That has not been hit. Yep. The gluten-free shit. Why is it doing two again? If the attack scores a critical hit, then ah, it does five d four kill. Uh, <clears throat> your two d four, three, five, ten, fifteen. Yeah. As you you fire off the three, you watch as the armor facade seems to fly off, revealing something else entirely. I love that I've learned the transformation <laughs> shit in this, it's great. What is that? Let me zoom in real quick. Um, That's a bad guy. You hey, should be alive. Looks more like that, however, I thought I'd try lol using a false sense of security. It worked for five minutes. Seeing that, I'm going to use the rest of my movement on my turn to... Hey, Melano. I'm gonna chill in the back hey, with you. You can move ten more feet. If, if it's your first turn, you get ten more feet as a Gloomstalker Ranger. Ah, uh, yeah, but that's, um, that's Revel, who's the wizard. Oh, yeah, Revel. Never mind. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> Did I announce your turn, my guy? Take that as a no, and I'll fire it over to Bryn. Ah. Bryn strong. Bryn mighty. We're not afraid of the challenge. Alright. We're not afraid here. of fucking up horses either. <laughs> putting them to rest. Putting them to rest. Even dogs need to eat. Okay. I am going to cast. Where is your weapon? Oh, oh hold on. Uh, I'm going to put it right here. I love spiritual weapon. Bonus action, it misses. Do not announce your turn. You still technically can attack. Yes, that was uh, that was always the plan. Uh, One-handed attack. We're just going to inventory, battle axe, and swing, and probably miss. Swing and a miss, my friend. All right, end of my turn. You have another attack, mate. You have two attacks. Oh, well, shit. Okay, okay. Oh, well, yeah. Now I want to do that. I didn't know I could do that with the spell. Okay. It's uh, oh. your, your spell's a bonus action, so by all accounts. Even though it's a melee. Oh, yeah. Uh, horse or skeleton? I need to know. It's you. Skeleton. <laughs> You're going to bring it in straight down on the motherfucker. You're going to watch it shingles away. You don't know your turn there? Oh, uh, no, that'll be it. Melo. No, no. Yee. Yeah. Um, I am going to target the. This one on the right, oui, oui. and send a uh, moonfire towards it. So both the horse and the knight have to make saving throws. DC 16, the man saves. Does the horsey? The horsey doth not. Can I watch as the he kind of well, the skeleton kind of manage to get away as it does between his legs? The horse, yeah, bang. His it's I don't know. It's a skeleton. 
Make up your own mind. This is fantasy. <laughs> Did it now, sweetheart? <laughs> um, that's me. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Bernard, sense this, smell this. You've seen what's that? Shit's fucked, yo. Hey, dude. Mm. Over here. We'll target this guy here on the horse. Let's start with a precise strike. Yeah, yeah. And uh, 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 um, okay, twenty-five for ten and three. Okay, okay, okay. And oh, wait, so one last thing. 13, Where is it? Like Thirteen twenty-four. So I've got a max twenty-four damage right now. What else are you doing? A smite, oh baby. And did you want to roll me an additional d8 on there, mate? Oh baby, a triple. Oh baby, a cripple. 13, <laughs> 24, 35. 41 damage. Nice. Oh, did you get Almost dropped him a drink. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You're going to bring it down. As it does, you watch as this one as well. The facade drops. <laughs> and then I need to take away 41 damage. Is <laughs> there anything else for your turn? Uh, I think that's about it. I used the bonus. It's more concerning to me that it's still alive. And that's alive in quotation marks. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's it. Kill. Cool. Exodus. Uh, quick question: do, My attuned to the blade. Uh, do I know about its undead thing or no? Uh, you haven't hit an undead, so you don't know about its undead thing yet. Uh, all right, yeah. I was just asking, you know, learning experience. I'm fine with it. Uh, he would take out razor, fucking this black ass dagger, holding it in both hands, and he would fucking Mikasa dash. Not actually dashing, but uh, to the um. Undead Skelly Bro. You're using Ruler there, there you go. For what? I was saying you're using Ruler there, but there you go. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm used to roll. I'm, I'm used to roll twenty where I like map everything out with a ruler. I, I'm not used to it. I, I, I've been playing with you for about a year, but I'm still not used to it. So I, he would go to Booming, booming Blade this mofo. Uh, you do a serious. <clears throat> he watches. He kind of brings in. He watches it slashes. You then hear from the blade. Did that attempt? You can hear from the blade. Me or him? One or the other. What do you do? Nick and Rip. It doesn't sh it uh, doesn't surround. It doesn't surround like you're expecting. Ah, uh, he's finally getting it. He's, he's putting together these, like, the gears are grinding, and he would back up. Um, so does, does he feel the necrotic damage? You do? That's only if you crit. Uh, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that's how I meant to rate it up. If I, if I fucked it, I fucked it. Um, hmm... It's any time I hit it. Yeah, if you hit an undead with this weapon, you take one d ten necrotic damage, and the target one d ten hit points. Then da, 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 da. that was maybe a crit. But yeah, I will quickly just quickly throw that back onto it. I'll roll one d ten. You so if you roll the one d ten, I'll give me that one. I already did. It was a four. Oh, and then uh, you take four. Did you take it off? No. Yes. Uh, no, no. I want. I was asking first. And it'd be yeah, no. Yeah, there you go. Um, and then he would back up to his original spot. Um, being a son, he would uh, whisper to himself, Reynard might hear this, why can't you two just get along? <laughs> Did I answer your turn? <laughs> no, that's it. Do you know what I've just realized? My skeletons ain't rolled in, even though I highlighted them. Oh, it's because I fucking changed them, ain't it? They revert into yeah. Greg, give me a little second. Um, let me get there. They're both shitty rolls. Three and a two, yeah. So they're gonna come in, they're gonna change really quickly, and then I'll change them back. So, um, 
three and two. There we go. <clears throat> da -da -da. So, uh, don't know if you're next to us. I think so he just said he ran to the map. He ran to the bathroom. Ah, cool. Then you watch. Extra dashes off the battlefield to take this. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> We've all done it. You watch as the skeletal knight and his horsey advance towards Bren, and as they do, you watch the host. <laughs> Nothing. Bren, Bren, good. Um. I completely missed the war horse though, that was smart of me. Yeah, I completely missed. Did. Yeah. Um To keep it consistent with what Fane done, so that way we don't need to redo too much. Um I'll move Horsey and his mate to like here. And I moved them inside the building. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sick of my shit as well. And I turned this off. Triggers. That, that. One moment. Oh, Scotch, did I, did, I, did, I, did I declare what my, um, what the spectral weapon is? Uh, you did not, no. Oh, mace. A mace. Fantastic. I will get that. I oh, know the fucking horse. Oh, that horse is actually uninjured. Um, <clears throat> that's fine. I think my other guy had like 70 HP anyway, so... Oh, he's there. Cool. Where's he gone? Both get the same health? Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna keep them the same. Uh, just remember that both horses are also undead. Great. Says the paladin. <laughs> I th was that where that horse initially was? Uh, yeah. skill on knight. No, no. I think it was a bit lower. The knight was on the other side of me, so it was to the left. Two I mean, an initiative. Um, initiative? Okay. It was right. Yeah, we get again 18, so it was under Bryn. Nope, that's his health, Matthew. Haha. <laughs> And then, <clears throat> yeah, to keep things consistent with Exodus, because Exodus came to here. So Exodus came to there, move that token there so it can do, Exodus can still do his attack on that one. And then, yeah. Mathematically, I have this sorted, don't worry. <laughs> Mentally, I'm Math fucked. <laughs> Mathematically as well, I had more than enough movement, I could even have dashed. So, <clears throat> uh, Bryn 12 for 12. Nada happened to you. Uh, this other one here for the sake of it on Renard. Uh, 11 for 10. Nothing happens. Cool. <clears throat> the knight dismounts as it does. Looks at yourself, Renard. And it has this. I'm going to pull out this long sword. Very decrepit as it does swings wildly into yourself for two 19 for 17 necrotic as it does you then watches from underneath and a sort of almost pirouette like motion mathematically you watch as it underarm throws this axe towards yourself Morales and as it does not one as you go Wildly messes, you're gonna stand in there like, come on. He watches the other knight dismounts as well. As it does, runs. Well, personally, I'm saying runs. Personally, pulls out its sword and swipes towards Bryn. Bryn 17 misses before immediately coming in towards Exodus for a second swipe with the blade. 19 for 13 on the necrotic. Um, I will, uh, yep. use my, uh, one of my spell slots to cast, a uh, shield, uh, raising my AC to 20. I'll give you the health back immediately. <clears throat> you're gonna, boom, you watch it, 
turns once more and throws towards Revel a axe. 25 at disadvantage for 18 necrotic. He's going to hit you with this axe straight in the side. They show no emotion. Their faces are stoic and undead. Baralis. Uh, okay. Yep. Uh... 20 for 7 will hit. And you favoured foe if you want to. That's an extra d4, correct me if I'm wrong, Rangers? That's an extra d4, yes. It goes up with levels. Level 5, a favoured foe, featured. <clears throat> favoured foe, I'll burn off one of your uses because it's there. And yeah, if you wanna uh, just slash R1d4. 7, 9 piercing damage. <clears throat> yep. 9 for 7 will miss. Good days and bad days. <laughs> Did I announce your turn, my guy? Uh, how far did I move? Just there. You're asking the guy who's just taking his glasses off, mate, won't he fuck? Uh, <laughs> I think it was like 20 foot, correct me if I'm wrong. That's uh, 5, 10, 15, 25. Yeah, about. Alright. Nah, that's fine, just leave it on. Alright. Then I'll leave it. Go. Cool. Alright, we're a rebel. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> Fire it. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> let me go. Let me just play for Revel real quick. Revel's gonna move in yeah, yeah. and chromatic <laughs> orb this one here. All right. Target him. Chromatic orb. Yeah. Oh, four and sphere at a creature you can see within range. Um, you don't have the component for that. Oh, yeah, really? <laughs> yeah. You also would have been making that attack at disadvantage as well. That's technically a ranged attack. Um, but you don't. Uh, yeah. You don't have a fifty gold piece diamond, so. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you. Oh, yeah. thing on for you. <clears throat> so we'll do something else. So what we'll do is these nights look like Donnie Darko, right? It's not just me. Tasha's hideous laughter at second level. All right. Actually, does it matter what level I, I cast it? I don't think Tasha's matters on an upcast. Yeah, no benefit to upcast. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't. That's the one that I'm targeting here. This one here? Mm-hmm. He's gonna fire that off. You're gonna watch as the head just starts to dislocate and turn towards you. No. Okay. Can I, uh, I'm gonna force him to re-roll. Alright. I need art. I love the that is waved in the air. Chrono Chef. So, uh, no, that didn't fucking happen. And instead, it gets a higher roll as you watch as the, <laughs> the head turns round once more and just kind of looks at you and shrugs. Okay, um... 16 on the first roll, 18 on the second. <coughs> and then he just goes, goes, why did the chicken cross the room? <clears throat> and then he looks at you. I said, why did the chicken cross the room? <laughs> I'll do this as a bonus action. <coughs> Alright. That there. Dragon's Breath. <coughs> One bonus. Um, Dragon's Breath. A second level spell. Tasha's Hideous Laughter, a first level spell. Can't cast two leveled spells. Yeah. Two leveled spells. So I'll, I'll give okay. you that back. Don't worry. Okay. He's new to playing caster, guys. Okay. Even though he was a cleric last time. Cleric is weird, man. He was? 
Uh, yeah. Before he was just a very Lib. divinely favored brute. Lib is a uh, cleric in Avernus. I know. Although, I'm yeah, he was... That'll be it for me. I told. Uh, Grin, the horse slayer. The scale right. of the horse. Don't worry, I got yeah. you. I got... I got you, Mr. Revel. Um, so first off, that uh that mace is going to attack yep, that uh, horse. Reburn the spell, but don't burn the spell slot and don't place the template. Because I forget you all the numbers. Reburn the spell? Yeah, rerun the spell when I ask if you want to like burn the template and the spell slot, just say no to both and it'll just do the attacks. <clears throat> Cause I forget the numbers for it all the time. Consume a spell slot. Nope. Now place measure template, cast spell. 1949 will hit as you bash into the horse with this one. You're gonna watch as the ash seems to just very weak horse. Uh, moving on, I'm gonna move here. And you're gonna watch the horse <laughs> rear back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, messes. Good reactions aren't quite what they used to be in its undead age. All right. Now, for that fucking skeleton right there, first of all, that joke was hilarious. We all laughed inside, at least. <laughs> so, um... Well, am I able to cast... Am I able to use, uh... Am I able to use smite? Uh, you need to hit. If it's a divine okay. smite, you need to hit, and then you smite on the hit. Um, it's okay, a feature that burns spell slots. It's not, it's not actually a spell, so you can use it. <clears throat> all right. Uh, but an 11 nope. says you can't. Well, this, uh... Also says mind. you can't. N never mind. <laughs> what the I'm fucking just... odds? <laughs> oh, I am my turn. Well, the Vor Horsi, if you mm. will. I'm gonna take a step back, rearing its ugly head. Oh, wait, hold on. Nope, never mind. It will just run forward betwixt. And as it does, we'll take a jump and hoof towards the self Bren. Da that's another 11. That's the wrong Warhorse. No, Warhorse. Oh, you're right, it is. Well, Renard, good news. An 11 still misses. Melano. Mm. They're so similar. Still, I'm gonna target this guy over there and send the chaos bolt. Yeah, yeah. At it. Twenty-one does hit for roll it. Eight. Sikak damage. Ooh, ooh, and let me check our d eights. They don't match. So. <clears throat> The sonic damage hits this fucker. You, if it had eyes, they would definitely dilate as it rings. But instead, stoic. But you know it's done something. You're gonna watch as it starts to crack in places because you know psychic damage. Do you want else your turn? Uh, um, I'll also use my sorcery points to do a quick and spell. Yeah. And cast Moonfire on him and the horse. Yeah. Okay, and uh, both fail. Yay! Damn, he's still alive. Still alive, quote unquote. <laughs> <laughs> alive. <laughs> Did I announce your turn? He's taking a lot of damage. Mm, that's me. Thank you. This is concerning. Renard. Well, I don't want to screw around and... Screw around in shop class, screw around too much, people get hurt. And, and miss. So we'll burn another one of those. <coughs> Come on. Why didn't I roll? Is there a 12 for 13 will miss? A 60 will miss? Damn it. Mr. Worldwide, Mr. 5. <laughs> He did it now, so you're talking there, man. That is it. Since I missed, I get that. Swings I get and roundabouts. Um, 
Exodus, for your sake, I will say you can make unarmed strikes. You know, elbow the fucker, kick the fucker. Um, can I can I just free action pull out my other dagger? Make for me a wisdom saving throw to drop Razor. Oh, I have to drop. I thought you said I could like bear yeah. the weight of it in my hand if I'm not what, using it as a weapon. You have to use it to. You could, you could bear the weight of it, but if you were going to do anything else, it would be complete disadvantage. So I'm actually I'm giving you the option of you can you don't need to. I'm giving you the option that you can try and drop it through sheer force of will to attack normally rather than with disadvantage. Nah, he it's too shiny to drop it. He wouldn't drop it. Uh, he would he would shoot it. <laughs> or um. Could I? Uh, what is it to sheath the weapon? What is it to draw a weapon? Is it a bonus action or action? Um, so, as part of the attack action, you can pull the weapon. Putting the weapon, putting something else away, would be an object interaction on most other cases. If, like, you put something away and took something else out, but because it's a weapon and you're going to make an attack with it, you can freely put a weapon away and draw the other one as long as you immediately attack with it. All right, you would. So he, he does this thing where he pulls free his other dagger, sheathing the uh, black razor in the, the same sheet before going for a booming <laughs> blade against this guy. He's, he's showing him, hey, I gotta choose. I'm choosing one in this one. I'm choosing the one that I can use to attack the undead. You know, without getting, you know. You are, God. Being, you are being pulled so it would be disadvantage akin to like some it's like some form of encumbrance would do that. Okay. Uh, even with sheathing it? Yeah, because you're still in combat, so it's still got all that weight to it. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Let me... Hold on. Uh, I don't have a dagger set up as a macro. So let me just... Yeah, right. Matthew. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's a feature I missed on my first attack with this guy in front of me. What's the feature? When I hit with the uh, guided strike, it gets an additional d8 when it hits. So that was been 2d8 additional damage. I don't um, see. I think another thing. Uh, the precise strike. I, I, I'm i looking for your strike specifically. You're saying 2. I was double checking that it is two. It's probably from where you come from. Uh, 25, yeah. Uh, bust 2d8 real quick there, man. Seven. Yeah, seven. Sorry for the interruption. No, that's right, because you've already done the divine, so that's just us not reading right. Uh, I don't want to insult you, Tepler. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so that misses. And he is like, Obvious. he's eyeing him down. He's giving him like the dead eye stare behind the mask, and then he's booking it. He's like, nope, nope, nope. He's like, hey, what? Hold on. <laughs> He'll get here, and then a bonus action dash about, mm, I don't know, but maybe. Mm. <laughs> he's going to hide behind a woman. <laughs> Typical rule, <rogue>, camera. Right? <laughs> he's like, oh. He's like, wow, this uh, is weird. How are you doing, Melanie? <laughs> Still getting it wrong is great. <laughs> no, no, that's your turn. Melanel? Melanel? Yeah, I'm like, fine. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You, you do that magic thing. <laughs> that's, that's, that's his turn. Uh, the war horse, which one is this? This one over here. Cool. <clears throat> it will now rock him, sock him up towards everyone here we have a little love triangle here speaking of love it gives bryn a love tap it fucks oh. it up completely you're gonna watch it just goes between both bryn and revel even the skeletons like brah that's me we're friends the <clears throat> skeletal knight will looking at yourself there renard not very happy with all the smiting and such will take its very long sword and just flurry at you with all the grace that the undead has. Dirty damage. Huh? 22 and a 20, both for 15. Holy fuck. And then it, Why does he keep asking me to 10. roll concentration for Hunter's Mark? You mean, yeah, just, um, let me fuck it. That's what you were concentrating on, apparently, even though it's not, let me, I'll delete that for you. 
Uh, but it didn't work. There you go. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Now it says you're no longer. You, Hunter's Mark was fucking what? The outpost, right? Uh, yeah. I think it's been a long time since I've used it. Yeah, it was the fucking outpost. <clears throat> the other night, we'll look at the three it has here and any wildly weird flurry slashes towards Bryn Revel so Bryn Revel uh, 15 damage to Bryn uh, 17 on our gal guy Revel the photo throws me every time you're gonna watch it spin around once more and throws another axe directly at yourself Boralis and that's the one that misses right yeah it misses you know ting hits the wall for Alice watching this no bueno that's the second axe he's thrown at you uh, huh? just don't let me use my bow is it coming I'll up with like, any type of error or something? Or act. You need to click your token to do that. It's a weird issue that's been happening recently. 1749 will just miss. I'm not gonna insult you. Do anything else for your turn? Oh wait, um uh, no, that's a decent. Do anything else for your turn, my guy? What else can I do? Just bonus action or special? Uh, any type of bonus action that you have, yes, and any of your specials. So like, um, face step, you could GTFO. Um, oh yeah, real quick, uh, what's your, um, what's your season? Melano, your season? Uh, winter. Yeah, I was gonna say winter. I haven't felt like she's ready to move on to anything else but winter because she's still sad. I was actually looking up Aladrins today for their whole 700 year lifespan. Um, some of them do just stay the same season. Or in other words, not many not many winters have friends at the depressing bastards. Mm. Woe is me. But yeah, uh, you're both winter, so yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I feel now's probably the best time, but worst time, you could pick whatever you want, but yeah. You are <clears throat> wintery, uh, so you can face step away or into things. I think winter does that. Your choice. I'll end it there. Cool. Rebel. All right, Rebel's going to. Where is it? There it is. Sorry about that. It's alright, mate. Um, you get raided by the FBI all the time. It's fine. We are open up. We have you around it. We have the property around it. You're gonna out the road. Also. Oh, Holy. baby. Nice. Gonna watch as the armor suits up more ash on it. Even some parts of like the bone around the face start to send her away. Did it announce your turn? That's it. Fucking beautiful crit, mate. Well done. Even though it was luck. <laughs> well done. Brent. Alright. That skeleton's a problem, so I can move this thing 20 feet, right? Yeah. Be specific, they're all skeletons. <laughs> All right, I want to have the affected square be right next to me, like here. I've popped it for you, mate. Just right here between both of them. Yeah, that's good. Kill, kill. All right. You. Kill, kill. That one is going to hurt. Hopefully. Hopefully it's going to hurt. Um, we'll see. We roll for the damage. 22 for 7 will hit as you're going to watch as the spectral finally. mace just seems to boom upside the head. Alright, and I'm also going to try to hit it and smite it, but I need to hit it first. 
20 for 5 will hit. Smite time. Oh, baby, baby. Just a dude. Devil one. Cool. All right. Uh, Ken. That's actually not bad. Solid number. You're going to bring it down. It stands and there. And then? Crumbling. I want to see if I can go for two. Uh, go oh. for two. Two for two. Gonna... And I want to smite. I'm going to ask, can you? I think I've allowed it before, but I'm not sure. I think you can. Oh, wait. Oh, I don't know if I can. I don't know. I really don't. As, as long as he's got the spell slots. You can There's stack. no limit to how many times. This is great having Paladin player. Yep, you can go ahead. Uh, roll another smite as long as you've got those spell slots like he was saying. And then we'll play the fun game. Right. Uh, hover over that. And there's a plus next to the seven and a plus next to the eight. Click both of them. So, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 19, 24 on the radiant. He's going to bring that <laughs> down once more. You watch as parts of its face are now gone. It is like half a face under this skeleton, under this helmet. You watch as it slowly crumbling away in front of you. Did it announce your turn? Oh, that'll be it. Cool. Got to find my horse. It's this horse. <clears throat> Oh, uh, uh, horses are pretty fucking stupid, let's be honest. 16 for 12 will miss. No, no. Um, Moonfire again on the both of them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, horsey, not one skeleton also fails. I will Yay. bust and bust. Did it announce your turn? Um... Moving towards, like, into the corner here. Yeah, yeah. Done it else? Nope. Bernard. Can do. Mm. You're watching it's crumbling. The horse not looking too good. You not feeling too good. Not at all. We're going to do this <clears throat> again. Try to get this fucking hit. Okay, we're going to start with the knight. Ooh, who are you hitting first? The knight. 23 the... for Sia. Bust the eight. Oh. oh, not two. Sorry. I just take the lowest. Delete button. I can't I can't use my keyboard. Just blow it up. I uh, blow it up. Just blow it and I will. It want seven. Still standing? Oh, the... Effort. I'd like to point out this was a CR epic with one exclamation point. Hmm. 18 for 8 and 2. Oh. 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 Uh. <clears throat> it had 9 health left. Yay! I'm going to bring it down. It crumbles in front of you the tinning of the armor. Native Salamnia, no more. In more ways than one. Did I announce your turn? I don't think I got anything else I can do while I use that. Why is it asking me? Oh, yeah. Nope. Okay. That's it. For now. Alright. Is that? Kind of watches. It seems to start smoking away before it fizzles to nothing. Exodus. Given that Exodus is meat shield, I mean beloved ally and friend, <laughs> uh, left the spot. He would. Uh, yeah, dash, bonus action, dash, 40. Go for another Booming Blade. Bra. Uh, let's see it. Let's see it. Dagger. 15. Mm, miss. Miss. I've already moved that many, so now he's going to back up. Uh, yeah, 
that's about it. <laughs> got another and, job? Uh, no, no, that's it. Yeah. I got to find the horsey. The horsey is the one by Bryn. Again, horses, really fucking stupid. 24 for 11, wow. It's the first time the horses hit all combat. <laughs> Uh, we'll then move it over to Skelly Knight. Skelly Knight also, you know, that's his horse, Bryn. Why would you do that? Pulls out its sword. Gives you the one, gives you the two. Gives you the three. Only the one actually hits, though. You're stupidly good AC. Baralis. I am looking too good. Who's not looking good? Bren. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh. Uh. Oh there. Okay. Uh. Uh, I'll. I can do my two attacks and do a bonus action as well. Yes. Alright. This fucker's lit up like an eye. He's gonna fire that off. You watch as he does. Nope, that's Bryn. I have targeted Bryn. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> crumbles away. Hello, Meg. Uh, and then. Can I do healing spirit? How do I do that? Did I just click it? Much, much is in the yep. okay. uh, healing spirit. Oh, is that the uh, healing spirit? One bonus action. You can bust that off. Um, call forth nature, soothe wounded. Blah 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 blah. Five foot cube. Yeah. I think if you click that, it's going to immediately give you a place to put down the thing. Is it not? Clone I did not it's, do much health, but it didn't tell me it didn't pick an area. That's right, uh, call both spinning, one day, and one Appears in a space five foot cube within range that you can see. Um, so, where do you want to place it? And I'll put down the cube for you, mate. Uh, how far can I just. Is there Up like to a 60 limit? foot away from you. Oh, I'll just place it uh, where Bren is. Can't uh, uh, I pop it. I'll, I'll pop it because I don't think it can be on someone particularly, can it? Um, yeah, it needs to be. Appears in a space that has a five foot cube. Doesn't say unoccupied. Um, uh, somebody has to move into that space? Yeah, I think someone needs to move into it, and that's how it works. So, yeah, um, when people run into it, uh, we'll, roll the, say, we'll roll the hit points for it. So, yeah. As uh, you can pop up, you still technically have uh, one attack action that you can take, as you only fired once, and there are two, um, two horses. Yeah. It misses, I'm afraid. You watch this from behind you. The other skeleton seems to tss and sizzle away. Uh, so. Okay. Okay. Oh. Jalen. Muted. Oh, okay. uh, shit. I just didn't hear Boralus go. Not all so, uh, people are loud. Uh, I'm going to be a horse slayer this round, I guess. I think a few of you are. Uh, I'm gonna take that right there. Run up 30 feet. Just about like right there, I wanna be. Okay, I'm gonna take. Gonna take acid splash. Alright. Nah. Bailey, the CV. As you fire off, you watch it starts to bubble and hiss and vanish. 
Did I announce your turn? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, I'm going to take... Dragon's Breath. Okay, uh, touch my own creature and be at the power of three magic damage from its mouth. Okay, until the spell ends, can you use an action to exhale in a 15 foot cone. Mm hmm. Okay. Dirt That's it for right now. Phew. Brin. <laughs> it's the World Wire 305. How many feet is this? <laughs> Good feet, good. I'm gonna move that one to that horse. Yeah, I'll move it to like back here, just so that way we don't mix them up because they are oh, yeah. shades of red. Okay. But yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna whack him. You gonna fuck shit up, Kenneth? Twenty four eight. Well, is you gonna bring it in, splattering the horse? The area now, rim. Pristine quiet. You do hear the oh. crashing and banging from up on high in the castle. However, uh, Healing Spirit just went up at last for a minute. We have until round 14, one person at a time. Uh, so I'm going to keep using initiative just for it, so that way we don't abuse these things. Uh, so, Bren, you have movement. All right, uh, you guys can. Uh, oh, my bad. You guys can uh, drink some of that up first. I, I could give myself a little bit of healing. We'll go right on ahead. Okay. Then I will quickly bust over Melano. Yeah, I'm fine. Cool. Uh, so you move. Yep. Yeah, I'll just quickly fire over then our friend Renard real quick. So I can move in and out in one turn and get the benefits? Yeah, you can move into it, get the heal, and then you'd need to move out so someone else could because I think it'd only be per your turn. As I'm not mistaken. This is like one of these ones from Xanathar's that was like really broken. I, I remember hearing about it, but as to how it went, um... 26. Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah, for the first time in a turn, or starts its turn there, you can use the spirit. So you give yourself a good old five. I'll give you a five there to snap. I'm going to round 14 real quick for speed. Exodus? I'm only missing 4 HP, so you know damn well I'm going to get it. Fuck that shit. I'm going through it. Dashing. This is where the man rolls a 1. Please. <laughs> right, I just roll it? Just roll a d6, yeah. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Oh, five. Sweet. Five. Nice. And I pass on through. I go back again. No, I don't go back. <laughs> no. Uh... And Versus Boralus, he who cast the spell. You're at full health. That did not focus you. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Uh, then I will burst over Revel. It's the red square, correct? Yep. Gonna just uh, take a step yeah. in. With all that healing goodness, soak it in. RJ, could you sound less like a predator, please? Thank you. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's let drums hands. What, what if I had said no? It's not possible. It's just my default. default I'd be voice. scared. Uh, ex, uh, fit, uh, uh, roll a d6. Okay. Oh, wow. Nice. Max. And then I'm assuming you're going to bust out there, Rich? Sure. And then we'll see Bren. Uh, okay, I need to get in. Um, yep. Bloody six. Uh, six it's the hokey cokey of healing spirits. What's DOS? Alright. I'm going to step back. Um, I am going to. Where is it? Where is it? I'm going to channel divinity. And try to bring back a level two spell slot. Alright, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Boom. I'll pop that back in your sheet for just saying you got a level two spell slot right there as All a right. bonus action. Now I'm gonna heal myself with Cure Woman the second level. Alright. Uh pop that fifteen on your sheet just now for you. Boom. Thank you. 
No, I'm only half dead. <laughs> then I know straight up. Uh, let's see. Then that's right. I'm gonna put like bust oh, over Melano. That's it. I'm just gonna move down over here. Yep. <clears throat> Come on. Am I stuck in the wall? Nope. You're just using the ruler. I think. Yeah, you're using the oh. ruler. Oops. That's all right. I was gonna go over here, like dashing. Yeah, yeah. You do this. No one has Otherwise, I'm fine. Bernard. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know how long that healing spirit's gonna last. I'm gonna do. Okay, are you reading it? it? Says it can heal one plus his spellcaster ability modifier times. Hmm. Uh, times uh, it heal? One plus is a modifier. So it's gone. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's not me. I didn't read. I didn't read that part. Um. Yeah. I, he. He has a plus. Yeah. He has a plus one. I'm gonna use my twenty-five. Lay on him by myself. All right. And how long does spiritual weapon last again? That's like, I want to see. I want to see like ten minutes. I think it's like a fucking hour. Is it not? Right, spiritual weapon. One minute. Um, <clears throat> okay, so as you use, uh, you've used your laying hands, I'm assuming you've added to yourself normally. Yep, I'll now activate mm -hmm. this as you use, stand there. You hear the banging, clanging, smashing, and what sounds like sounds of fighting from inside the castle. You need to get in. No, this is the, uh, go in. This is the um, area of adventure, right? Into right here, yes. correct? Yes, yes, yes. Well, Rubble's gonna waste no time. Let's go. And please move no further once you're in there, even if you have that freedom. Please and thank you. Let's go. Woo! Uh, woo. Hold on. How do I get in here? There is a, a wall there. It's, it's a. What you call it? It's a blank. Uh, to I'll just move Brennan as well for Brennan's sake. And then I will. Thank you. <clears throat> I really didn't pick the right thing, but yeah. Let's use R in the castle now. The place is quiet. You do hear the. I'm going to move, move people about just so they're not standing on each other. Da -da -da. You hear the tings and clangs. Well, by this. <coughs> before this thud. There are no guards. No one around. It's odd. The castle is never usually this... quiet. Even when you came last from the middle of a mission, there was still someone to meet you. This Where were those the battle noises of battle coming from? Uh... Further into the castle on the same floor you are on, you can tell it's not above. It's all stone you're hearing getting hit. I have like no good music for this shit, it's getting fucking annoying. <laughs> oh, head that direction, whichever way that's coming, sound's coming from. You can easily tell it's coming from like, you know, this is direction. We can move now? Southwest. Yeah, use your freedom of movement on that regard. Okay. Oh. Oh. We look around get... in this area. There is nothing. No one. There is no bodies. No blood. But the weapons room. The quartermaster. Even he is missing. Everything in a shop. Missing. This castle is unprotected I'm gonna make my uh, way over here you move on uh, doo -doo -doo. <clears throat> you see you come to the corner looking at the war room you see signs of battle blood something's happened here <clears throat> Uh, can I ready an action? 
Yeah. Uh, Bren Exodus Boralus. Uh, I just got back. I'm back. Um, so, what I miss in like the minute I was gone? Noises. The place is un uneasily quiet. Something are wrong. Something are wrong. Um, I guess I would go to different corridors. <clears throat> I like to try to stealth. Go to different the different corridors, and I like to. Uh, is anyone over here? Yeah. Um. I like to just cast um, illusion magic. Uh, hold on, let me grab it. Minor illusion. Yeah, I want to cast. I really don't want to, but I hate that it asked me to do that thing. Of oh my god, yeah. what is this template? Don't worry. Um, I want to create just like a hello, trying to um see if I can like suss out maybe a location of someone or something by like. Oh, like, someone's like, oh, hey, someone's here, like, they're over here, you know, like, something, yeah. trying to lure people out. You and you would do this repeatedly, so, so, if you can. So you, so you fire that off, it's Melano, you, you turn to look, because you, you, know, you have no idea who's doing this, you kind of turn to look. You just don't hear anything. Not from that direction. From the south, however, you hear this... <laughs> As if metal is being pulled through metal. Well, by this, what sounds like a chair being dragged, and then this, what sounds like two heavy feet or boots hitting something made of wood. Can I uh, go ahead and make my way in? Yeah. I'm I'm readying. Uh, before I go in, I'm gonna cast mage armor. Alright. Just, uh, and now ready, Jim's magic missile. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna you make my way in and peer in this doorway right here. I try to stay out. Fire, I guess. Just try to stay hidden and out of sight if I see anybody. Yep. Well, so you, do. Over here. <clears throat> you pass on through in that area. You see a black gentleman. I don't know why I have such a... I know, I know, just standing, well, sitting rather, <coughs> relaxed in a chair, in full Salamnic gear. Hmm. Can I, uh, I'm gonna take the full... You gonna take the what? Melanol's right there, never mind. Wait a second. <laughs> You uh, you see, Revel go to do something, but he doesn't do it. <laughs> Take me a moment. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know what? I already I'm know you're be, a wizard. I'm gonna be really nice. Uh. Stealth versus perception. And oh, okay. make it private GM rolls, both of you. Okay. Okay. Um are we, uh, so I have no idea where they went. I was gonna follow them, but Mel I have no idea actually Melano, where you, they went. Melano, you're the perception check. Oh, I'm the perception check. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I should have <laughs> clarified. That's on me. Okay. Yep. Do you feel confident? Okay. Uh, you you know what I do. One of the Salamic knights from outside. Well, since you do that, you don't. You know, Melno, you don't hear, you don't see anything. Um. <clears throat> however, hold on, because I got this. All right, I got this. You gotta give me a little second.
that there was a there we go and then it's taking a little moment right yep there we go uh just change height bro <laughs> i love <it> so much it's <laughs> all right on you go mate okay um, I'm gonna step my way in here. And as you're watching, you watch as from out of the darkness comes one of these skeletal knights that you fought outside. And you watch as the man in the room. Ah! I see one of our valiant ones has returned. The, um, I don't know if they can talk. Dang it. I don't think I don't think they can talk. They didn't say anything in when we were mm -hmm. in. They didn't say anything. I don't know if they can talk. That's the worst part about it. Um, is is there anyone else in this room? You see pinned to the wall and some feet of strength. Governor Myatt completely impaled sword through his sternum and then him stuck to the wall a good foot from the stone wall it, it's safe to say um, I know this is probably a dumb question he's he's dead right no mate he's just taking a nap no he's <laughs> okay it's fine no. yeah no, um, he's fucking dead dang it um, I'll uh, I'll wait for a cue. For I'm just gonna stand right here, but I'm gonna wait for um for a cue for him, just to let me know if these things can talk or not. We'll see. As for as... right now, all I know is that he just acknowledged my presence. For the reading, as you enter the chamber. Where the governor and city council were meeting, everything empty. The doors open and ajar, guards absent. This place is usually a buzz. And as you walk in through the door, a scene of slaughter spills across the chamber. Several guards wearing colours of Calaman soldiers lie tangled amid skeletal remains and tarnished salamnic armour. The bloody bodies of the Calaman soldiers group slump in high back chairs across the room and the table. At the position of honour opposite the door where Governor Myatt would sit, sits the man you see. His body, oh Governor Myatt, slaughtered, pinned to the wall. You see this man in the chair rocking back and forth, feet propped on the table. And he balances in one finger a scroll. Hmm. Since um, since he's not hostile to me right now, I'm gonna cast this spell. Okay. Just hush, hush. All right, back. Am I still rolling privately? Yes. Should I do public? Mm, nah, that's you. We can ask on. That's your choice to do it publicly or not. Okay. Yes, you. Bernard, you even look. You see the bodies. The man on the table. You see the knight. You that saw. You do not, however, see. Revel. Just watch as Boralis, you know, well, Brent, you watch as Boralis kind of goes up and locks the door and I'll be here just in case. Watch the back. Is he talking to me? He's talking to Bren and Exodus um, because Boralis has had to leave. So I, um... I'll be here and watch the back and he's locked the door as well so that way 
nothing can come in. Uh, any, uh, I just will say, I have no idea where they went. Where do they go? Um, I'm pretty... Door. Gonna in gonna... this... Door. I'm gonna point to the door that you're at. I'm gonna hook his finger as he would have seen them pass his line of sight, believe it or not. No word of a lie. <laughs> and he would he would crouch down and go to sneak in there. But yeah, you guys are... I'll just explore, question mark? You can, you... What can you see by the door to the chambers where the part where the war council was? Melano and Renard standing. I'll follow. In, in this room, I'm just pretending like I'm looking around, but then I just make my way past him and open this back door right here. Yep. And and I'm gonna walk through here. Yep. You just close anything behind me. Start patrolling everyone else. What are we doing? I don't. What did I miss? I apologize. Um. <clears throat> well, now that you're here, I'll give you the reread again because there was something. Uh, scene of slaughter spills across this council chamber. Several guards wearing the colors of Callum and soldiers tie tangled amid skeletal remains and tarnished salamnic armor. The bodies of Callum and soldier members are slumped in high back chairs across the room's large table at the position of honor where Governor Myatt once sat. Is now. Mm -hmm. A man, bald, feet on the table, full salamnic armor, balancing a no uh, scroll in his hand. You can see a pool of blood. But you can't see what's there. Can I move in the room? Yep. As you what? move in, you see the man. See? Stands there. Oh, sits there. Watches he. <coughs> Hail, friends, and fear not. Your heroes have arrived. I am Knight Cardock. I bring words of the Knights of Salamnia. Ah, at this very moment. En route with all manner of pomp and mustache wax and whatever they bother with these days. As he gestures towards the corpses in the room. Please try to contain yourself better than they did. And brother, and he points towards yourself, Lord. Welcome to the high table. He sets grinning. This man oozes charisma. To use the memes, this man has Riz. I... Oh no! <laughs> no! He has Riz! Get out! He got Riz? He Matt, could, no! <laughs> he could give you a stare that would seduce you instantly. That's it. Bryn, what are you doing right now, by the way? Because you're sitting in the courtyard. Oh. Um. Sorry. I am, uh... Are you with the party? Is Yes, yes. I'll, I'll move you. I am where the action is. I'll move you towards Melano because I don't know whether or not you're going to the room or not, and I'm going to make. I ain't going to make that choice for you. Okay. As you now look, Renard Exodus, you see on the wall Governor Myatt pinned sword through the middle of the chest, as if cracking the rib cage, a good foot off the ground. He is in this wall, and blood pours down. I say, I don't... Karadok, I recognize the name. I don't know from where, but looking at your minions you left at the front door and looking what you've done in here, you're no knight. Oh, sir. I'm more of a knight than them. And, well, we bear a similar plate. Albeit mine has a bit more pizzazz, a bit more meaning. The Do armor to... doesn't make a knight. Murder certainly doesn't make a knight. That's what we're paid to do. Murder. Think about it. 
They hire us. We kill who they want. Murder makes a night. And if you are having troubles, you know, coming to grips with that, maybe a simple farm life is for you. Or, or, nah, hear me out. You could join the dear governor and his friends. These are choices that you can make as a knight. What you're calling knighthood is an abomination to the, within the measure. Knights of Salamni are not for hire for murder. As you look at him, he is wearing Knight of the Rose armor. The way he speaks, the way he talks, the way he does everything, though you've never seen him. Something is scratching at the back of your mind there, Renard. Um, give me a history check with advantage. You scratch and scratch. The only thing that comes to you is you is come you are fighting it, but the armor he wears it's not contemporary Knight of the Rose. It's an older build. Mm. You couldn't point to when. Maybe before your time, it may have been before you were born. It's quite unsure. You don't really have much experience with Knights of the Rose. Let's do this trick again. I mean... Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Did it say bad, evil? Uh, yeah. The, the room smells, that's for certain. The room smells like... Faintly, though, you hear the ringing and you smell the smell. There's a masking of such. You're not sure who smells what and where. You don't know who rings where. But... It just... There's good and evil all around you within 60 foot for certain. And you get the you, know, you get the impression that it's dinging party members as well. 60 foot gets you does it go through walls question mark? Uh, I don't think it goes through a foot of stone or something like that. Let me look. I will say uh, I think it could not be behind total cover. Uh, well, you, there is the pinging of good and evil around. <sighs> Tell him, you need to lay down your sword. You need to answer for what you've done here. Murdering I'm, the governor. I'm not holding a and sword. All of these I'm holding a scroll. Come on. What is the purpose of this scroll? What is your purpose here? I'm glad you asked. You're gonna watch as he fires the chair back and unravels the scroll. Can I, can, I, can I shoot the scroll with a bow first? You can try. I wanna try. I wanna try to shoot the fucking scroll. Because in my mind, right, does it look, I guess I already said it, but does it look like a magic scroll? Or is it like a, just a piece of paper? Generic. Like is piece, it like a generic piece of paper? As far as I can right. Spell scrolls also look like generic pieces of paper. Depends how the person yeah. finds them. But that's yeah. Scroll. I want to try to shoot the, the scroll. Yep. Um. Yeah. Slap. Maybe starts to unravel this very long scroll. And you pss, fire off. 13. Just gonna smooth to the side, gonna move the scroll back. Oh, come on. Please. If I was going to do anything, I'd have already done it. 
It could be a, a scroll of summon demons. Or something. I don't know what magic scrolls there are, but it, it's evil. You're paranoid. Anyway, <clears throat> once more. <sighs> Opens the large scroll. People of Calaman. I exert my rightful claim as ruler of the province of Nightland. Submit or free or flee. <laughs> this is an order from my lords. You know, puts it in his back pocket. This is a bad time to have to go check on something. Who is your lord? That is exerting oh. his so-called rightful claim to the province of Nightland. Oh, wouldn't you like to know? I think that's required. Well, I think you'll just have to find out. Next time on Dragonlance. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna look at you. I won't tell you, my lord. Why would I do that? And spoil the surprise. I'll tell you what, though. Not with the dragon army. Oh, no, no, no. Not with them. Why would I be with them? All that death, destruction, and fire. <laughs> Pointless. Oh, oh, and before you ask, before before you get your hopes up, um, <clears throat> the knights, obviously not coming. Um, you know, as I, I thought I'd say for your stupid friend there in the back, because, you know, an evil scroll. <laughs> ah, you know, watch as he leans back. You were dropped, weren't you? Just like them. And that's why they're dead. That's why you'll be next. He's going to turn round the door. And you? You think I'm dumb? Come on out. Come on. All the little undead. They serve me. Come on. No, you're not undead. Come on. Oh, just look yeah. at you. Oh, you cute little thing. He's going to watch as he throws the chair to the side. And as he does, walks open and just closes the door once more. You're letting all the heat out. It's freezing in here. Anyway, anyway. Um, <clears throat> my lord was here. He has to attend to some other business now. However, he has left me in charge. And so... Just really quick, you used to, used to in the back. Come on, come on in. We're one big happy family. Come on in. Come on. That's it. You with the pointy ears and you who can't keep our hands to herself. Come on. Come on. I can't exclaim my brilliant news if you aren't all here. Can I? It's just mockingly beckoning yourselves there, Bren and Melanor. And I would, uh, I, I know RJ is doing something that is RJ would, you know, okay. comes in. Um, now, you close the door, let's all have a little sit down, and we can discuss the terms of your surrender. Mm. I have mm. a mere question before we do so. Of course, of course. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. When we kill you, and I mount your head on that wall, he points to where uh, that one guy was uh, impaled into. How do you get your bald head so shiny? I want to know. So I, is it like grapeseed oil? Is it polish? Is it what they use on the shoes? The black leather? And he would do like a shoe shining gesture. And then he would say, Because you know damn well you just walked into our home. Killed a bunch of people. And we're not going to let you just do that. Well, firstly, and you watch again, steps up on the table. I'm not bald. And he runs his hand, like, a solid few centimeters over his head. Can't you see my luscious locks? Secondly, I 
don't think you're really going anywhere, friend. But in the interim of it, how about you're gonna watch? You're gonna pulls the sword out and you know, lets it go. Is it gonna drops out before he flips it? About one for all time's sake, then, eh? I have a weird question. Maybe. Is he alive or dead? <laughs> uh, Bernard was unable to ascertain that. Does okay. that make sense? Uh, I mean, the divine sense. You know the location of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet of you. Yep. And he was unable to ascertain that. Ah, okay. Yeah, there mm. are like, I can name like two or three ways to get around that. Uh, Roll an issue. Oh, hell yeah. Is there, a, is there a scent of chrysanthemums around here? Can I, can I use, can I use my ready to action? I'm pretty sure it's an action. I'm pretty sure it's an action for you to do that thing that we did. Uh, uh, <laughs> let me see. I check your features. Um, it is. Action, you. <clears throat> yeah, I got it. See who's doing good and who's doing bad. Well, Melon all got a three. <laughs> uh, Bryn. <laughs> Bryn got a thirteen. <laughs> Revel got a. Haven't rolled yet. Um, also, my thing lets me add my intelligence modifier to my <laughs> initiative. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So when you when it says what you want to roll in the little box, type in plus and then the number. Okay. Uh. I think the only good thing about the module being broken is you can add your shit yourselves. Is it saying, is it the mod thing? Yeah, so where it says situational bonus, just type in there, like, you know, um, like, your mod is, your mod would be five. Yeah, I just didn't want to do that without telling you. That's right, uh, so plus two, plus five, plus two for dex, plus five for that. Yeah, he has experience with it. Or big brain. Big brain. Big brain in the OG. Oh man, we are so in it. And now, we'll do it. I'll say, let's take a minute to jump to our respective bathrooms, maybe grab a drink, because, well, combat can go on a little bit, and it's us. A lot of ummings and ahs. He's gonna turn into a dragon, guys. Milk. I said, I'm gonna make a phone call real quick. Okay. He sounds really arrogant, yeah, so I'm thinking he might either be an undead minion or something like brought back to life. But some, but by the... He's actually phase dead. <laughs> okay, be right back. Gonna go do something.
I am so glad we did this model. <laughs> Yo. Wagwan. What am I doing on Saturday? Oh yeah, half six or half five. So, uh, John, what season is it out of curiosity? Season? Spring, summer, autumn, winter. I have no idea. Damn it changes it. from day to day. Damn, the books didn't cover this. Books didn't cover this, really. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's a good question. I'm back. Isn't she like... Isn't she like... You're flirting with Melanor. Are you? Because I, I can't have this in two campaigns. <laughs> right, fl fl like, fl flirt with, flirt with, like, flirt with Tip Tipler, right? I don't know. What's happening? It's all right. All I heard was Tipler. We're talking. Is that Blue? Uh, no, uh, Jalen singing. Isn't she lovely? So I said, are you flirting with Melanor? If so, please stop. I can't put up with it over two campaigns. <laughs> yeah, flirt with me, flirt with me! What the fuck? <laughs> Spread the love! Exactly! Come on, it's been a year, we're friends! I've you over that stupid sword, though. Well, that's okay, I got my own sword, though. <clears throat> I mean, it's only one guy, how hard can he be? Mm -hmm. Um... <laughs> it's only the one dude, and he's bald. So that means he's he's gonna be doubled easy to kill. Hmm. Check that the means... chat. Hold on. On Discord. Yeah, let me come get that chat. Groaning. She got rubble. How is this? I mean, Good. that's like you rolled like three sets of. Dice. That's that's not poggers. I had to roll Bren, remember? <laughs> ah, yes. It's, there's maybe one more person. Or maybe I rolled for a lair action. Who knows? Oh no, a lair! Motherfucker had time to set up a lair. <laughs> this man, this man, this man made this place his lair already. He's a dragon. <laughs> Stra doesn't a dragon and he has lair actions. Yeah, but that, that brings yeah. something to him, right? Like, that's his castle, you know? That's like... Zariel he's... had lair actions, depending upon what fucking book you used. You did not have her use lair actions yeah. in our... <laughs> yeah, Descent to, Descent to Avernus book, she doesn't have lair actions. Mordekainen presents Monsters of the Multiverse, and Mordekainen presents Tome of Foes, she does have lair actions. However, between all three of these books, her health changes by about 150 hit points, all of her saves change, her fucking reactions, like, the only thing that stays the same is the fact that her weapons do stupid damage, where a nat 1 is still an 18. 
Damn. Damn, yeah. I, I, I was loving Avernus. I loved Avernus from start to finish to the very end. When I heard about Dragonlance, I was like, this is going to be doo-doo. I'm not going to like it. Dragons are gross, and I'm loving it. Loving every second of this campaign. That's because I've had to do so much work to make, like, to make this a compelling world. I'm learning about this world. I know how all the gods work together. <laughs> Like, there is a god above the gods who made the gods and went, I'm out. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. That's a fairly common creation story of like, big god make other gods then leave because blank reason. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, I'm out. Bye. Then, then, uh, Paladine. So it's, um, <clears throat> Paladine, Gillian, and Takesis. Are siblings and Ew. then all of the gods after that are children so like Kiri Joloth and Habakkuk for example those are children to Paladine or Luna Lunatri the, the moon is a child to Gillian like it's nuts and the worst part is, the gods of neutrality, they're so fucking neutral, they didn't even have sexual partners. They just went, I want a kid. Breaks off rib. This is my child now. Child, I'm a fully grown adult. Ah, yes, child. Hello. Hello, father. I mean, Zeus, <laughs> Athena, basically the same. She sprang out, she was born out of his mind. Or Aphrodite was born out of the w waves. <laughs> like... The gods of good and evil are like, yes, I shall take you as a partner. We shall have kids. The gods of neutrality are so fucking neutral, the only person they see as an adequate partner is themselves. <laughs> Imagine being so fucking arrogant. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is a crazy world, man. Me, me oh, when I get rich making a cloning device. <laughs> I will have a daughter of me, because why not? Oh, are we all back before I start crying of laughter? Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, RJ? RJ? Hmm? Uh, ba 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 Macarin. I mean, I think Macarin is... We'll see what happens when it goes up to Macarin's turn. Um, so, let's kick things off in the fun and flavoursome way. Revel. Alright. <clears throat> um. Revel's gonna target him. Go like that. Cool. But she's not going to attack. He's going to cast mirror image on himself. Oh, I'm getting good at knowing this one. Uh, you're uh, rolling privately, by the way. I am. Yep. It's all right. Just so you know, I'll make that one public to everyone. Now that we're not keeping secrets. Wait, he introduced himself as Karnok? Car. Karadok. Karadok. Akarot! Bachita! <laughs> Did it else you turn them again? Um, no. Alright. Then let's move things over to Exodus. Big question Remember. time. Remember that once a day haste thing? Yeah, yeah. How do I activate it? <laughs> is it just an action or is it. Just. Basically, and, um, bu -bu -bu. basically, as an action, you give yourself a little touchy touch on the um, necklace, and the necklace activates haste as if you are casting the spell haste, and then you concentrate on hasting. You concentrate on right. speedy boy. He. You know what? No. You know what? No. This motherfucker. He'll uh, hop up on the table. 
Uh, he would take out a black razor. Right, not black razor, just razor. Because it's a razor blade. Uh, he'd get up on the table, 15. And then 10 feet here, so that's 25. I did the measuring thing again. Yeah, that's all right. Um, have a seat. 15. How's it done so, again? Scalpel showed me how to do it and everything. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna booming blade him. Not actually, I can't booming blade him with the razor. So I'm just gonna attack him with razor because I want, I want to uh, make him. Um, on your ruler, okay. Just so, just so you know, yeah. on your ruler, if you click and drag, push control, and click, you can then make a longer paths. Mm. All right, I'll remember that, or I'll try to remember that. Sorry. Right. All right. Time to go. That does not hit. I'm not going to insult you, mate. So yeah. you know, there's four rebels now. So he's swinging. That's not exactly working. So he will bonus action, dash, and make room, quote unquote, and then he's just going to use it. Try, he shot his shot. He's going to jump off the table. And what meat shield... I mean, party member. The move. Yeah, right back to where he was. 45. <clears throat> there. And that'll be, that'll be his turn. Okay. <coughs> RJ, you, you back there, my friend? <coughs> cool. Right. Hmm. Fuck. You know what? I'm gonna make this easy. Bren will hold up her hand and say, Oh no, she can't. Ah, uh, Baba, I was gonna say, Come to me if you want to heal. But that's not going to work because that is a touch spell. Shit. Um. You know what? <clears throat> yeah. She knows how bad things are. She will smack Renard on the back and be like, Go get him, Tiger. Because Knights of Salamnia and give you a cure wound. I wish it was more. 1d8 plus 1. I wish it was more. But eh, you take a nice heal. Because RJ's here and I'm just waiting for them to come back. I don't want to ask. Alright. I'm going to do the old vow of enmity. Uh, and so the bonus action, I have an against creature 10 feet of you. Uh, gain advantage on attack rolls against the creature for one minute, or until it drops to hit point zero. Miss, miss. Miss, miss. Holy shit. There's no situational bonus for him standing on the table, by the way. That's just complete flavor. She's gonna bring it and he just kind of dances it off you know like mockingly it's like ah, ah. anything else your turn um nope that's it you watch his he pulls from his back a great sword and as he does <clears throat> you know jumps down towards yourself swinging Brings down and just misses before pulling straight back up. Missing. No, no. Let's try Tasha's mind whip. A 16 intelligence. So, only time intelligence has come into use with this spell. 
takes nine CCAC and has to do what? Uh, next turn, it must choose whether it gets to move an action or a bonus action, and it only gets to use one of the three. Cool. Then else your turn. I'm gonna move over here and a little bit outside. Coward! Gonna look at yourself or not? You surround yourself with cowards. Turn um, turn. That's my turn, yeah. Rebel. <clears throat> Rebel. Oh. Tasha's Hedios O Lafataro. Lafataro. Is you fire that off he starts laughing uncontrollably drops <laughs> to the ground insulting the knights of salamnia as he goes laughing at how pathetic they are um for the sake of melano uh this is now full cover he's technically lying behind the table okay so now it's your turn there rebel oh uh, no that's it cool Exodus, um, last first, same as the first, he's technically behind full cover right now. I'm gonna run at him, I'm gonna go get him. Wee! Wee! 20! 20. 20, uh, bonus, uh, this will get me yep. bonus action dash for here, 40. I'm gonna try to jam Razor into his back as he's on the ground. Yep. Um, 14? No. You have advantage. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's prone. Yeah, yeah, woo! No. A left with 14? <laughs> uh, no? 14 misses, I'm afraid, my friend. Motherfucker. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and then, like a ghost. Like a really bad ghost at hitting things. <laughs> he's off. And that's that's his turn. You dashed again? Oh, no, I just uh, finished his dash. Yeah, you just oh. finished his dash. You can attack, then finish. Okay. Why is Bryn useless right now? <clears throat> see, um... Right, oh, that's a second level spell, fuck you! Uh, however... Bryn will ready command. Renard. <clears throat> well, since he's just laying there. Eighteen will hit. Uh follows on laughter during the target must see the wisdom saving throw, fall prone, be incapacitated, never will stand up for the duration. Uh and then we'll stun the creature. He can re-roll every time he makes he takes damage. Well, uh, the first one he gets is just against your spell save. Hmm. He makes uh, yeah. wisdom saves every time he takes damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. So he fails on that one, and he would tip or correct me. He would take it with smite as well. Yes. No. Um, no, the smite it, it counts as the same attack, so it, it would you do a it would wouldn't count as another attack. Yep. It'd be like it would be like sneak attack. It, it like it's added to the it's attack added to the overall. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Then uh, Juan hit Juan miss and a smite. Did I announce your turn? A hit and a miss and a smite. Yep. Um. Did he crit? Nope. Nope. He just doesn't got... he crit. No, he just gets advantage on the roll. He's not. Uh, he's not unconscious. Ah, uh, but he's, he's incapacitated. Just... He's just on the ground, like. <laughs> so much. Incapacitated creatures just can't take reactions or actions. Nope, that's... that's it. All right. Yeah. That's right. You're looking at it regardless. 
he can take actions or reactions and has no bonus actions, he must. Let's save. And fail. I so wish this man's had legendary actions. <laughs> no, no. E. I will. I wonder if I have anything that can give him disadvantage. I'm sorry. Pass. This guy. <laughs> Dust Devil, unoccupied space. Okay. Uh, I mean, he's still able to make strength saving throws or strength prone. Mm -mm. You fell him. Right? No. No? Both incapacitated and prone. Uh, incapacitated creature can't take actions or reactions, and the prone creature can only crawl, uh, disadvantage on attack rolls, and <sighs> melee attacks have advantage on them. So, um, kicking and screaming and pissing himself laughing, he still fails the save. Takes four bludgeoning damage. And because that. Uh, is he able to save again? And he's pushed 10 feet away from the dust devil. Uh, he would be able to save again, yes. <clears throat> and fail. And can only really only move him 10 foot in this direction. Can't pass through Renard. Great door. Horrible window. Did anyone else your turn? Uh, I'm gonna stay right there. Gravel. Gravel time. <clears throat> I'm gonna do my magic missile. Alright. At third level. Alright. <clears throat> After I target him, one sec. <laughs> I need to just put it in a hot bar because I gotta open my thing every time. I'll add back in the token action HUD for you. 25 will hit for 6. Fish. Actually, that'd 20. be a disadvantage, mate. Would it be? Yeah, he's prone and you're using it, you're making a ranged attack. Ra ranged or prone, So, yeah. 14 misses. Ah, uh, okay, I see. That's right. <clears throat> Took me a moment there, don't worry. Did anything else your turn? Nope. Jump. Exodus. <laughs> Alright, um You would Yes, yeah, so he's still on the floor Surprisingly Yeah, he's like Dude, why don't you just Fucking get up Fucking horrible at these wisdom saves, by the way <laughs> It's like You're making this too easy If I still can't fucking hit you He <laughs> goes to do it again Wee! Oh! Oh wait, advantage! Twelve! Wee! <laughs> Damn it! If you're me, you're crying! I don't have anything I can hit him with. <laughs> Did anything else you turn mate? Yeah, 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 In case he fails, he's gonna dash back up again. That's 50 feet. Right here. And oh look, a meat shield. 55. <laughs> 60. <laughs> That's his turn. At this point, Bryn's gonna have to get involved with barely any spell slots left. Bryn with the sucks uh, will miss with a 14 and will hit with a 19 for 9, which will then bust the wisdom saving throw. Which, Bryn, is your wisdom the same, Bryn? I'm back. Yep. You're still here. Cool. Uh, right. Bryn's wisdom is the same, so yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Doesn't matter. The five oh, spells stays. <laughs> Bernard. You failed again? Yeah, he's fucking horrible at these. <laughs> oh, he's prone. 23 like will hit. 25 will... You want to be careful there, mate. No, don't don't be careful. I'll make a reroll. <laughs> I want to be careful. Wait, so he's prone. Do we, do we get in uh, do we, do we the attack? Does it, oh, there we go. Does he pass? He passed. Can you have him reroll? Because? Uh, I rewind time. 
Can you only do that in a long rest? And with I have. Rush. No, I have one. I have oh, one. I have the divine smite damage. Keep going, Mister. I'm gonna quickly do your damage here because it's still. I'll busted. go ahead and burn it for you. Hold on. Right. Well, you bust that now. Uh, as he is dead. Congratulations on using your chrono <laughs> shift on a dead guy, mate. Well done. <laughs> I'll take the damage off so then that way the smite what? can go in, right? That sound good to you, mate? No, do anything else your turn. He's dead? Um, <laughs> he was prone the entire oh, fucking combat. <laughs> I mean, he was so cool. He was so self-confident, too. I like to imagine he was prone, and we all just took turns going up to him and kicking him, and then stepping back. I'm like, mm, one more kick. <laughs> Did it now? It's your turn? I don't know. Nope. Okay. Yes, I'm I'm, I'm oh, that was Yo, uh, Bren, make a wisdom save and throw, please. Oh, damn. Okay. Wisdom, wisdom. save. Ooh, yeah. Okay. I'm so wise, like, I'm so fucking wise, guys. <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> this combat was supposed to be epic. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so... It's not... I'm so fucking wise. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's not over. The combat is not over yet. Did I say it was over? <laughs> Ah, okay. Let me just rewind time a little bit. Oh. Uh... Oh dear. Oh, I guess dear, I'll. Dear. I guess I'll be here and <clears throat> hold. He is. Mind sliver just in case. It's not over because he's rolling death saves right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't like that. No, wait, I'm gonna moonfire his body anyway. So so I can't loot, loot the corpse because it's not a corpse? No, you can't. There's a corpse there. Rebel. <clears throat> um, who are we fighting? Rebel's going to um, prepare a spell, I guess, just in case there's another adversary. I'm gonna prepare a firebolt. <clears throat> then Exodus. So, give me a coup de gras. Exodus, believing combat is completely over, he goes to make true on his promise. Hmm? Taking out Razor, he goes to walk over to the, the what he thinks is a corpse. Okay. And I would like to remove his head. You like? All right. Didn't you get in trouble for that? Then it's you. Well, spell. Do me a favor. Um, could could you uh, roll an attack for me, please? Yeah. Oh. Of course, of course. Fourteen. Still a prone person. Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> Fourteen. <laughs> really hard to cut off a head when there's no hair to hold, you know? Yeah, he's like, he's like. <laughs> you can see him Try put it. one of his like cloth, cloth hands. Wait. Question, question, right? Yep. What type of armor is he wearing? Full plate. Ah, shit. So I can't even, yeah, yeah. Alright. So I'll like, with a with a cloth gloved hand, he's trying to get a good grip on his head, but it just keeps sliding off, and he says, damn, his shiny head. Where's this hair that's not a shiny head? You're trying to palm the dude's dumb, but you forget he, you're not wearing NFL issued uh, wide receiver gloves. Bren. <laughs> um, oh, uh, I'm gonna roll insight to see if this feels resolved to me, or yeah. if my fine senses are tingling. Because you you're so roll, very you wise, right? Divine, you could just roll the vein sense as well. Oh, wait. How do That's I roll an the action, sense? but it's in your features. You just click the vein sense. The room is. Regardless of where you stand in the room, it won't go outside the room, but you'd be able to ping the entire fucking room. Um, okay, so let's do a fiend run. Do I want to roll divine sensor? I'm going to roll insight. Uh, I mean, so wise. that body's breathing. Oh, I want to, I want to like point out like the, the ride and fall of the chest with my, uh, with my axe. 
<laughs> and when those, right. that plate doesn't rise and fall. Um, I want to ask no, for you, a mirror. I'd, I'd say, I'd say you can, I'd say you can see that as like the body would still kind of have a small rise and falter to it, even though it's in the plate armor. You know, you still kind of like maybe it's like the chest or the neck. You got twenty-two insight. You seen shit. <laughs> Somebody with a rope tie him up. You're wise. So fucking wise. <laughs> Then I know it's your turn, my friend. Oh no, that'll be it. Yep, uh, Renard. <clears throat> oh wait, I could've tied him up. Never mind, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Rebel. I'll just tie him up. I don't know why this, I don't know why this weird is out of his head. Uh, it's like... As a matter of fact, she, she's gonna ask him... What are you doing? <laughs> I'll go with uh, no mercy for the wicked. Well, I'm gonna. Are you gonna roll an attack? I have fear. Yep. Nessus. That hits. Um. Kind of bring it in. You're gonna. Oh, you're watching the eyes bulge, blood fly throughout the mouth. He's. Holding on by a grasp. Did anything else your turn? Nope. Cool. I will move it over then. You watch as the life from him expires. Revel, wisdom saving throw, please. Is it wisdom? Uh, charisma, sorry, charisma saving throw. Okay. Saving throw. Kill. Cool. Combat has ended. As you okay. stand in this room, the body there. Not much else seems to be going on. Does anyone wish to be doing anything else at the moment? Sorry, I'm just trying to get the music. There we go. I wanna, I wanna loot. I wanna loot. Yeah. For thing when I wanted. Yeah, the cool weapon I I like oh, to yeah. grab the the scroll from the table if it's still we there. Don't, we don't know. We Does don't know if he had a cool weapon. He never used it. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to. I just want to ask if there are any weapons you find. Um, I, I would like one. Now we'll talk about it. I, <laughs> I, I will say on his body, you find a great sword and a heavy battle axe. You also find the scroll. On his back pocket, very easily. You enough. said you said, uh, you said you said a heavy battle axe, a heavy crossbow, and a great sword. Oh, heavy crossbow, <laughs> great sword. Um, we just I would like to. Uh, here's my you, you read the scroll. Is you gonna? I was just about to say I read this. I was. That's yeah. I was just getting. To use that. both. Use both. Take the scroll. You know, both ears lovingly touching each other's hands in the cold embrace. Yeah. Two passing ships in a lonely harbor. <laughs> is use. Hold it up. And it reads true as follows. People of Calaman, I exert my rightful claim as ruler of the province of Nightland. Submit or flee. The part left out, however, Renard, this rings horror to you. Lord Lauren saw Night oh, of the Road. Everyone know a perception check for me. Okay. What name? Can you type it down? Loren So. Um. The scroll is signed by this guy? Yes. Dun dun dun. Kill. Uh, anyone else want to go ahead and roll that? Kill. <clears throat> Kill. Um. That's my perception roll. That's right. In the weirdest way possible, or something odd. Revel is trying so hard to hold back a smile. I think that's where we'll end oh. it here. Can I can take the great sword before we go? Take the what? Yeah, you can. Uh, I'll bash a great sword onto your sheep for you, my friend. 
Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> da -da -da -dun -da -da -dun -da. One great sword out of you. Uh, since we're dishing shit up, um, does anyone want a heavy crossbow? <clears throat> no. I mean... I, 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 I can, would, I I can only also. use light crossbows, so no, thank you. <laughs> Nobody wants it, I'll, I'll take that too. Right, and I'll add that to your sheet as well, you absolute look goblin, you. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. So, uh, we'll leave it there for the night, shall we? Pick it up again next Monday.